I'm Nancy Drew. This is my center of operations, my desk. Go ahead and poke around. If you want to know the particulars of how I do what I do, take a look at the book titled How to Be a Detective. It's real helpful, especially if you're new to the mystery solving business. And be sure to check out my scrapbook. I put memorabilia from all my past cases in there. A lot of them were pretty dangerous and at times really scary. But don't say anything about that to my dad, okay? He worries about me enough as it is. And whatever you do, read what's in the file called Case File. That'll tell you all about the mystery I'm about to try to solve. If you think you're ready to dive into that mystery, just click on the plane ticket and you'll be on your way. Well, welcome everybody to a playthrough video for Nancy Drew Warnings at Waverly Academy. This is the 21st game in Nancy, or sorry, in her interactives Nancy Drew <laughs> adventure series. And it was released in 2009. And I remember getting this game really well. I got it for Christmas that year. And I'm pretty sure I spent most of the day <laughs> playing this game. Which is maybe a little sad. I probably should have spent more time with my family. But I think we were all off doing our own thing with our gifts. Uh, but yeah, this game stands out really well as far as the first time I played it. But also just how often I've replayed it and how much I love this game. I really enjoy the setup. I like the storyline. It's an interesting group of characters who we interact with. And just overall, I love it. So I'm very excited to dive into this game. I did want to make a note that I am recording with OBS for the first time. I've tried it before and it wouldn't record the visuals. I would get sound and that was it. So I'm hoping that this works fairly well and the sound might be a little different than it was uh, when I recorded separately from my phone and adding that onto the whatever the capture system I was using with Windows. But uh, yeah, just, just making a note that I am using a different software for recording this playthrough today. Uh, and I'm trying to think, was there anything else I wanted to launch with? Um, no, that's that's pretty much it. Um, oh, and I did start reading the book that this is based off of, Curse of the Black Cat. And already I can see a lot of similarities. So I'm looking forward to doing that book to game comparison probably fairly soon. So before opening the case file, I'm just going to see what's on Nancy's desk. We've got a mask here from the Phantom of Venice. This is new. This will have been um, because of Nancy's last adventure, Ransom of the Seven Ships. And then we still have a little sheepy right here. And oh, it's not happening right now, but I noticed, possibly for the first time, there it is. It sounds like someone's raking leaves, which is great, just in the background. And there's some wind chimes. So what a nice little touch. It is neat to notice how much Nancy's um, surroundings change each time we go to her desk for the start of a new game. You see some of the seasonal changes, which is really neat. Just a great addition. So with that, let's open our case file. The headmistress at the Waverly Academy for Girls has asked me, begged me actually, to discover who's been leaving mysterious notes for students there and causing the strange accidents that always follow them. So malicious was the last accident, the parents of its victim are threatening to sue the school if the perpetrator isn't identified. Fast. And so, pretending to be a transfer student named Becca Sawyer, I'm going to go undercover at the upstate New York boarding school and hopefully find the culprit. I have to use a fake name instead of my real one because if any of my soon-to-be classmates plug the name Nancy Drew into an online search engine, my cover would be blown in an instant. <laughs> And to make sure no one sees or hears anything that could give me away, the headmistress has forbidden me to contact her, which means I'm about to be tossed, totally on my own, into a world of bright, privileged, click-conscious teenage girls. This could be my scariest case yet. So the one thing I do want to point out about this, and it has always kind of, I don't know if irked me is quite the right way to put it, but fell off, is this line about being in in this world of bright, privileged, click-conscious teenage girls. And it almost sounds like she's not part of that community, or at least not a teen. So this has always sounded really strange, because Nancy's supposed to be the same age as these girls. She's 18. So that's really my my one issue I think I have with this game, is that line. Because it just makes it sound like Nancy's not actually an 18-year-old. But anyhow, with that, let's go into this click-conscious teenage girl world and solve a mystery. And naturally, we're going to pick Senior Detective. Isn't funny. Let me 
you're the new person. Uh, Becca something. Becca Sawyer. I'm Corrine, the person who stuck rooming with you. <laughs> I mean, you're the person who stuck rooming with me. <laughs> anyway, welcome to my, your, uh, our humble dwelling space. Well, there we go. That's quite the introduction we have to this game. I like that we get this little scene from two weeks ago to sort of showcase to us some of the stuff that's going on and helps introduce us to the mystery we're about to get involved with. So, and we'll, we'll learn more a little bit about what that incident was really about or, or why it was shown <laughs> and why it was a big deal when we learn a little bit about that character, which will probably happen fairly soon. But anyhow, here's our, our roommate, Corrine. Thanks. Sorry to barge in and bug you like this. You look really busy. Busy? That's the understatement of the year. I've got four days to finish a 30-page research paper that has to be fully annotated, utilizing a bibliography that has to include at least six published, no online stuff, published sources. Any normal student would hate having you barge in like this. But then I'm not all that normal, so you can bug me all you want. Not that you're bugging me. Well, you are technically, but you're not really because I'm so... Never mind. Oh, poor Green. She's so awkward. I was told you could help me, you know, get oriented. Oh yeah, you bet. Let's see. First thing you gotta do is read the Waverly Student Guide, which is online. If you don't have a laptop, it doesn't look like you do. That one little bag is all you brought? Uh, all my stuff's being shipped from France, Lyon. It'll be here in a couple of days, but please, go on. Anyway, you can get online by jumping on the computer in the library. Just make sure you read the part in the guide about Waverly's demerit system really well. It's enforced by Paige. Believe me, you do not want to mess with her. Let's see, what else? Oh yeah, this floor is special because only seniors who are viable candidates for valedictorian live up here. Whoever's named valedictorian gets a full ride scholarship to the university of her choice, so it's a pretty big deal. Mm -hmm. Of course, the only truly viable candidate is me. Oh, and I should probably tell you about the curse. The curse? Some of the kids on this floor have been getting these, like, threatening notes from someone calling herself the Black Cat. Well, the first note's a warning, but if you get a second one, something really bad happens to you. And last week, the girl in the room next door, Megan Vargas, she got a second note, and that night she ate something at dinner she was allergic to and had such a bad reaction that she had to go home. Somebody's obviously playing a prank, but a lot of kids are starting to get really freaked out. <laughs> Wait a minute. You mean the only girls to get notes from this black cat person are girls who are in the running to be valedictorian? I hadn't really thought of it that way, but yeah, I guess that's right. Maybe somebody's jealous of us smart kids or something, or maybe it's one of us. Maybe someone's trying to scare off our competition. Mm -hmm. Whatever. It's not going to work on me. So we learn about our mystery pretty quickly from our roommate. Have you ever gotten one of these black cat notes? Yeah, I got one about three days ago. Really? Where did you find it? On the floor over there. Somebody slipped it under the door during the night. I took one look at it and tore it up. But if you'd like to see the note my ex-roommate got, that one's right here. She had kind of a bad experience. Here we got go. Got locked in a pitch black closet overnight. See, she was claustrophobic. Mm. So when they found her the next morning, she could barely talk. And when I came back from class that afternoon, she just left. No note, no call, no text, nothing. Just gone. When she got this, how did she react? She tried to laugh it off, but I think she was scared. She was pretty neurotic. What about the second note? There wasn't a second note. Or at least, if there was, she never said anything about it to me. Yeah, so locking someone into a closet when they're claustrophobic, that is just horribly cruel. I just can't even imagine. But what an awful thing to do, and I wouldn't call that a prank. That's, that's pretty horrific and quite traumatizing for that person. Where's that cello music coming from? Next door. That's Mel Corbelis. Does she ever stop playing? <laughs> Depends on her mood. When she's really, really down, I'll bet if they didn't give demerits for making noise after hours, she'd play that thing 24-7. Well, guess I'd better go start meeting people. Yeah, I guess you'd better. I'm not so bad, right? What do you mean? It's just that, well, you're about to find out that I'm not exactly the most... <sighs> Never mind. You'll see soon enough. Right off the bat, she sort of comes off as being a bit of an outcast. Poor Kareem. But anyways, there's uh, there's our first classmate, if you will. I'm just going to unpack Nancy's little bag. We've got Bess and George from our horrible holiday uh, <laughs> in the Bahamas. <laughs> 
Someone named Rachel wants me to come to her room. Rachel Hubbard. She's in the room at the end of the hall. Well, it says, hello, Becca. Welcome to Waverly. Since you just transferred here and don't really have any papers due or exams to study for, unlike the rest of us, I could really use your help on this project I'm working on. Please come see me as soon as you can. My room's at the other end of the hall. Thank you so much, Rachel. All right. And that really sets us up for so much of what we do in this game. Um, and I like the little... Hang on, I'm going to turn around here. The little solar system. This is really cool. Just another nice little touch. Um, we have hanging on the ceiling. Really cool. And also, what a nice and bright bedspread compared to the rather bland Waverly one. <laughs> Whoa, watch it! Oh, your hair's on fire. No wonder you're in a hurry. Mm. My hair's on fire? Just kidding. Red hair looks really good on some people. I'm Izzy Romero. I'm Becca Sawyer. I just transferred here. Where are you from? From the States originally, but I came here by way of France. It's a long story. Chouette alors. <laughs> Let me have your cell phone. Uh, My these would be nice. cell phone? Yeah, so I can set you up on the local network. It'll just take a second. Okay. This way you'll be able to get texted and keep up on all the breaking news. There you go. Look, my room's on the other side of the study hall, but lately I've been spending most of my time in the library. So come talk to me. I'm student body president, which means when it comes to the lay of the land, I got the best map. See ya. Well, there's another classmate. Uh, very different from Corrine. I don't know what to make of that comment about the red hair. Like, to me, it comes off as being rather offensive. It always leaves me feeling a little put off and put out. I, I don't know what to make of it, but yeah, it seems like she's insulting Nancy. And also, you don't just give someone your cell phone. Like, privacy stuff, guys. And ask first. Be polite. Use please. Anyhow. Uh, help disappearing under a mound of laundry. Can I borrow some detergent? Excellent. It's open. Ooh, if you notice, the music actually plays when she's, I don't know, striking it with a bow. Like, that's, this is done really well. Nice. Who are you? Uh, I'm Becca Sawyer. I just moved into the room next door. Oh, yeah, you're the transfer. The one who got kicked out of some school in France? What? What? <laughs> no, I didn't. Waverly's primary source of all wisdom and truth Ugh. has been suggesting otherwise. Hey, look, I don't really care, but you got to admit it's kind of weird to be changing schools in the middle of your senior year, and the fewer gory details you provide as to why, the more kids are going to talk. Or should I say, text? Can I just start off with a really early PSA? <laughs> seem to do these often. But... You know, spreading rumors can be horrible and they can have some pretty serious consequences and detrimental effects. Like it's, it's just an awful thing. You don't know how, well, you, you might not know how it's going to impact someone, whether it's meant as a joke or not, or even if you're not thinking about the consequences, it can really hurt a person and it can lead to bullying. And it's one of the things I really have an issue with, with today's society because you hear about it, or at least I do in my line of work all the time, people using social media to instill fear, uh, to be bullies. <sighs> it's just, that's awful. So don't spread rumors, guys. Please, that would be wonderful. So I'm the source of rumors already? Welcome to Waverly. <laughs> oh, man. What, the, what an introduction. <laughs> Where's your roommate? She's the one who was sent home because of an allergic reaction to something she ate after being cursed by the black cat. You sound a little skeptical. Mm -hmm. The black cat is just someone playing an idiotic prank. End of story. Of course, it's not the end of the story for my roommate Megan, who wound up having to go home sick with an allergic reaction that almost killed her. But it's still a stupid prank. Oh my gosh, what exactly happened to her? Look, enough about the black cat. The other girls can buy into that garbage all they want, but the pea brain that's behind this, <laughs> I refuse to give her the satisfaction. So if you have questions for Megan, I think you should call her yourself. 845-555-1849. Okay, going back to that personal information thing, not just giving your phone to someone to do stuff with. Also, don't just give out someone else's phone number. So there's another PSA. 
don't share other people's personal information without their permission. What you should be doing is asking that person first if it's okay to pass on their contact info. My goodness, I'm staring off with a lot of... Um, I don't want to keep saying PSAs, but essentially PSAs. <laughs> Think things through people. Think about other people's well-being and safety. Apparently that's what we're all about at Waverly Academy. How well do you know the girl I'm rooming with, Corrine? Probably better than anybody. She doesn't have a lot of friends, but she's incredibly smart. Plus, she's a social outcast too, so we get along pretty well. What makes you say she's a social outcast? She's so desperate for people to like her, she gets on everyone's nerves. Mm. Me? I don't much care if people like me or not. But Corrine? She cares a lot. And it shows. Oh, that's pretty tough. That's pretty common, too, in high school. So uh, It's important to be able to find a, a network of people who you can trust and can talk to. And hopefully you can get friends, because they should lift you up and support you. Anyways, I love the track that's starting. It's a great song. I'll quit bugging you. Door's always open. Anyways, let's let's snoop through Mel's room while she's here. What the layout? What a what a color scheme she's gone for. It's very like pink goth style. And some bright green spiders. <laughs> and we've got a, a doll here from uh, Last Train to Blue Moon Canyon, although with magenta hair and dark dress. Read much followed by more. Wonder why it was spelled with two O's instead of one. Is this sampler as old as it looks? It's old, that's for sure. My great, great, great grandmother made it. She was in the first class of students to graduate from here. Everybody in my family who attends Waverly has to hang that thing in her room. It's tradition. Did your mother graduate from here? And her mother and her mother's mother ad infinitum. I come from a long line of Waverly grads. I'm what you call a legacy. I was admitted automatically. I always thought it was weird that Nancy pointed out the capitalization, or not the capitalization, the double O. Because to me, that was always obvious as being a name. So, anyways. Yeah, so there's Mel's room and... Uh, let's take a trip to the ladies. Yes, must cleanse your face after talking with people. Oh, hello. I'm being gossiped about already? That sure didn't take long. I want to change things. I don't like these settings. Is this the first time that we get to fiddle with Nancy's cell phone? I feel like it's not, but at the same time, I didn't do that in the other game, so I, I don't know. Or in the last game. Ah, I don't want camera. Um, settings. <laughs> I like... Well, let's go look at them. I don't really care for the surf shack. Ice Cold Creek's okay. It's, I feel like they could have taken a better picture. I usually pick Castle Malloy. And that's what I'm going to do again. <laughs> Color. No. No. Green's okay. But I'll, I like the blue. I think it just flows better with the color scheme here. Message tone. Okay, don't like this one. Uh -uh. No, no cows. No, not that either. Yes, that's usually the one. That's number five. Oh, goodness, no. I feel like that song is in Raid or something in The Captive Curse. My brain has just suddenly gone there. Um, maybe something to do with that game. Anyways, that's the one I like. How about Alarm? No. 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 Hard pass. Also, no. Yes! What's five? Oh. That's a rude awakening. Let's, let's go with number four. So I like a lot of the fours. <laughs> this is the fourth picture, right? Yes, it is. Just the first color. Anyhow. Um, and what a really nice little space you've got here. You can use it for studying or just hanging out. So cozy. I've got another one over here. Yeah, what a neat setup. Uh, thanks for the treats. I can make it through the weekend now. No one there. It's fine. And we're gonna go bug Paige. Not now, please. Yeah, or not. Uh, skip the bathroom because I just washed my face. And Rachel, don't forget study group tonight. All right. I'm here. Ah, beanbag chair. Nice. What else do we have here? Ah, uh, that 
That little elephant is from uh, Secret of the Old Clock. You must be Becca Sawyer. Did I you see am. my note? I mm -hmm. did if you're Rachel Hubbard. That's me. And boy, am I glad you're here. See, I've got this web design project that's due by the end of the break. Only I've got two papers to write by then, too. So, since you're a transfer and you won't really have anything to do until classes start, I was hoping you could help me. <laughs> All right, that's a nice way to say hi, nice to meet you. <laughs> also, please help me. Oh, oh funny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, good point out. I don't even know you. Well, let's go with the web design. But I don't know anything about web design. You don't have to. I just need you to do grunt work. Take pictures and upload them mostly. The pages I'm designing will be part of the Waverly School website. Speaking of Waverly, I've never noticed the little Waverly emblem here. That this is like a little blanket she's got. That's really nice. Again, small details. I also like her pillowcase cover. And I like that she has a Dread Isle mug. Anything else you may recognize? Ah, Royal Palladium, St. Louis. Yes. Excellent. I don't know if this is really anything in the past games. You sure that's not cheating? Positive. It's a design class, not a photography class. What the pictures are of and where they appear on the page are all that's important, and that'll be totally up to me. I know this is kind of weird, but... Life story! I'm Rachel Hubbard. I'm from <laughs> Pittsburgh. I'm here on a scholarship. I blew a recent AP Chem test, which means I probably won't be valedictorian unless everybody else totally messes up. I love dogs, I hate cauliflower, my favorite subject's math, and I am desperate. Well, I guess I could help you, sure. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, what you need to do first is take a picture of all the valedictorian candidates. Here are their names. You have a camera cell phone, right? Of Course. Great. I circled her face earlier because I like her reaction, and there are a lot of really good animation for, um, facial reactions and responses to things in this game. I just had to make a note of that. After you've taken everybody's picture, get on the computer in the library and upload them according to the instructions on that sheet. I'll check the pictures once they're up. If I want you to take any of them over, I'll leave a note for you on the page. When you're yeah. done, report back to me, all right? I may need you to do something else. In the meantime, I'm about to be late for a meeting with my advisor, so if you could get started, that would be great. I really appreciate this, Becca. Yeah, there we go See again. you later, okay? I also really like her voice acting. Like she sounds really different from everyone else in terms of her cadence uh, and just the the way she expresses herself. She feels like she's or sounds like she's very hurried, uh, which is appropriate. So, yeah. Anyways, I should look at this list. Oh, I should call Megan. Yeah, I have to look at this anyways to make sure I can get her her picture. So let's call her while I'm at the top of the stairs. Hi, my name is Becca Sawyer. I'm a new student at Waverly, and I just wanted to ask you a couple of questions, if that's okay. I mean, I know you've been sick. No, no, go ahead. I'm still kind of weak, but talking on the phone's not going to kill me. It sounds like Chantal Mawikwe from the White Wolf of Bicycle Creek. What exactly happened to you, anyway? I was eating dinner at school three nights ago when all of a sudden I couldn't breathe. And when I tried to stand up, I got so dizzy I fell right over. So they rushed me to the hospital, and by the time I got there, I was turning blue, and my blood pressure was down to like 40 over 20 or something. Whoa. I'd gone in anaphylactic shock. Yikes. But then they pumped me full of epinephrine, so by morning I was all stable and stuff. My parents were real upset. They dragged me home with them, and they still haven't said when they're going to let me go back. I even heard them talking about suing the school. Anyway, now I'm real upset. I really miss Waverly, for the most part. Okay, yet another PSA. That is a dangerous prank. And this is really basically a callback to the Curse of Blackmore Manor. So, spoiler alert if you haven't watched that playthrough or played that game. But with taking allergy pills and putting them in someone's food and how dangerous that is, same deal here, except you know someone has an allergic reaction and they stop breathing, you know, going into anaphylactic so shock is not a small matter that is a big deal it's life-threatening and to call these things stupid pranks it was mel who said that is not reflecting the actual seriousness of this so don't do this guys she could have been killed so my word these are serious i'm, I'm not going to call them pranks um just serious and dangerous attacks on people that's that's what they are so anyways there's 
what is that, like my third PSA already? And I've, I've barely started the game, I'm still upstairs. My word. <laughs> what do you mean? Is there something about it you don't miss? About ten days ago, someone slipped a note under my door. All it had on it were the words, The black cat wants you to start packing, and a paw print with some scratch marks. Weird. Then, about a week later, I got another note. All it said was, time's up. I went to dinner the next night and... Wound up in the hospital. Mm -hmm. You think whoever sent you that note tampered with your food and deliberately triggered that allergic reaction? I don't know. Maybe it's just a coincidence. Mm, no. <laughs> I've been to the emergency room on account of my stupid allergies so many times, it's ridiculous. Oh my. And even if someone did put something in my food, I'm still here. I mean, I always recover. It's not like they were trying to kill me or anything. Oh, I disagree because that could lead to death. So, Ugh. The thing that triggered your reaction, do you have any idea what it was or how it got in your food? I'm allergic to tree nuts. Almonds, walnuts, cashews. My mom is always telling me to pay more attention to what I'm eating, but I'm really bad at that. Did many kids at Waverly know about your allergies before this last episode? Everybody knew. School policy. That way kids wouldn't give me anything with nuts in it. At least, that was the plan. <laughs> right? <laughs> if you had to guess, who would you say the black cat is? Izzy Romero. Why her? She seems because certain. she's the sneakiest, most spiteful person I've ever known. You've probably met her by now, and I know she doesn't seem that way, but you're new. Just wait. Could you email me your picture? I need it for the school's website. Sorry, the camera on my cell phone died on me, and my parents don't have a scanner here. But I think Leela has a decent picture of me. Go ask her. Leela Yadav, Izzy Romero's roommate. How timely I'm about to see her next. <laughs> Thanks for talking to me. Anyway, it's been real. I'll see you when I get back to Waverly, okay? <laughs> right, bye. <laughs> you won't, actually. <laughs> Anyways, okay, so we hear, we've just heard a little bit more about uh, the stuff that's been going on here. So, here we are, we've got our rec room, television. It's kind of messy. You can hear Leela. That looks like a Poppy Dada original. You must be the girl who came all the way from France with just the clothes on her back? Becca something? Becca Sawyer. I'm Leela Yadav. Welcome to Waverly. Welcome. Thank you, Leela. I needed to talk to you. So here's this thing about her wrist, and I find you don't even notice it. I've always... or Yeah, I mean, I know what the deal is having played this game so many times. But it's never been obvious to me that her wrist is wrapped. How come you're not working on a paper or studying like everybody else? So I don't ask I'm that I'm working one. on two papers, actually, but they're both under control, so I'm taking a break. Playing the games in here keeps my reflexes sharp. People think I'm just saying that, but it's true. In fact, let's play air mm -hmm. hockey. No. Come on, by helping me stay in shape, you'll be helping out your new school. You want to get off on the right foot here, don't ya? Yeah, but I, I don't have time right now. <laughs> I go. told Rachel Hubbard I'd help her with her web project. That's too bad. Yeah, so another great reaction. Just uh, the face. Just all the animation for that is great in this game. Too bad I can't play, or too bad I'm helping Rachel? Both, but mostly <laughs> too bad you're being subjected to Rachel on your very first day. I mean, it's mean, but it's a great delivery of that line. Why do you say that? She's got this bizarre schizoid thing going. She'll say something one day, then deny it the next, or she'll do something, then claim she didn't. She's actually kind of scary. You'll see. In fact, it wouldn't surprise me if she's the black cat. You heard about the black cat, right? Oh, oh yeah. yeah, I heard. <laughs> see, Rachel flunked a test a couple weeks ago, which means she can't be valedictorian. So maybe, in some twisted way, she thinks we're to blame and she's using this black cat stuff to freak us all out. <laughs> Not that it's working. On me, at least. I've won state championships in both soccer and basketball. No way am I going to let a couple of stupid notes get to me. All right, then. Um, let's just do this in order. Because you're in the running for valedictorian, I need to get a close-up of you for the school website, if that's okay. No problem. Fire when ready. Okay, let's see. How many attempts will it take? Oh, I feel like I zoomed in too much. I said Oops. fire when ready. I 
I was told I could maybe get a picture of Megan Vargas from you? Yeah, I've got a picture of her you could use. And if you beat me at a game of air hockey, I'll go get it for you. <laughs> so no matter what, I'm forced to play air hockey with her. <laughs> Which is okay. I like playing the games with her. Bring it on. That's the spirit. Okay, first pick your mallet. Then, after the game starts, hit the puck with your mallet and try to get it into the goal at my end. And when I hit the puck towards your goal, use your mallet to block it, if you can. You can only use your mallet on your half of the table. First person to score seven goals wins. Got it? Got it. Then let's get it on. So let's see if I can do this without scoring on myself. Ooh, I scored for her right away. Uh, no. Ah. I'm, I'm not well coordinated. <laughs> ah, that was so close. Ah. Oh, shoot. Oh, yeah. yeah there uh -huh. we go. <laughs> I always score on myself at least once. <laughs> oh, man. Ah, excellent. How did I score on her? Th oh, shoot. At the beginning. Oh, there we go. Oh, that actually went in. I didn't think that would. Ooh. I got a point. I'm not doing half bad. Oh, you're really not doing that bad. I only scored on myself once, and Leela actually scored on me properly on her own one time. And the Excellent. winner is you! Congrats! Guess I owe you Megan's picture. Next time I go upstairs, I'll get it for you. Wanna Fantastic. play again? No thanks. No thanks. Need anything else? Oh, so much. Not necessarily from you. Do you ever hang out with my roommate, Corrine? Not if I can help it. Why not? She's just a pain. She tries so hard to fit in that it turns people off. Most people, at least. Mel Corbelis and her are friends. No big surprise. After all, weirdos of a feather flock together. Again, some really rude comments about classmates. Again, this feels to me like bullying. These elite, sort of really smart kids are kind of cruel to each other. Did you get that picture oh. of Megan for me? Sorry, haven't gone back to my room yet. <laughs> I wasn't thinking when I clicked that. <laughs> I've bugged you enough for now. That's all right. I'm kind of waiting for my boyfriend to call. He goes to Oxborough. That's the boys' school just down the road. Talking to you helped kill the time. I'll see ya. Well, at least we know that it doesn't just magically appear, that photo. We've been talking to her the whole time. There we go. Now we can see her wrapped wrist. And there we go. The sound's matching up pretty well with her kicking around that ball. Yeah, anyhow. Uh, so this is the evil closet. Uh, and we need to turn on the light. Because if you don't, you can't pick up this key. <laughs> so. There we go. And the snack shop. Which I won't do yet, because I can't yet. There's Nancy Drew. Um, and stuff all. Don't have to look at this yet. But, whatever. And our locked classroom we'll have to get into later. And, yeah. Uh, do I want to go outside? Not yet. More stuff I can't do yet, so. Let's go talk with Izzy one more time. Bonjour. Unfortunately, that and Chouette Delore are all the French I know. Hey, my condolences on your roommate assignment. You know, it might not be too late to get it changed. You don't like Corrine either? Nobody likes Corrine. Oh, poor Corrine. Why not? Because she's Corrine, and Corrine is just not cool. But look, don't worry. Everyone knows rooming with Corrine wasn't your idea. As long as you don't hang out with her, nobody's going to hold it against you. Again, it's just mean. A lot of mean-spirited talk about classmates. Do you like your roommate? My roommate's Lila Yadev, athletic superstar and savior of Waverly's athletic program. We actually get along fine. Probably because we're pretty much equals. Everyone knows who she is, and everyone knows who I am. Hmm. 
A word to the wise. Avoid hanging out with your roommate as much as possible. Yeah, I got that message already. Okay, if I take a close-up of you, Rachel needs it for the school website. Rachel roped you into helping her, huh? Lucky you. Your first day, you get to spend it with every loser in our class. Oh, man, you have Ready that attitude. Ready for my close-up, darling. Kind of just want to intentionally make, take a terrible picture of her. Because she's so mean. Let's go, Vecca. Fine. I get the impression Rachel's not one of your favorite people. She's no one's favorite people. Even Corrine doesn't like her. She seems nice enough. She has no business being here, either socially or academically, and she knows it. She makes no effort to fit in because she knows she never will. <laughs> Gotta give her that much. What's your take on Mel? All that edgy, free spirit, deep thinking stuff is just an act. She knows she can't cut it here, so she's making it look like she doesn't care. Maybe she really doesn't care. Everybody cares what other people think. In fact, if they don't, they're psychopaths. I just learned that in AP Psych. Have you gotten any notes from the black cat? Everyone on the Valcan floor has. The valedictorian candidate floor. Our floor. Has anything like this ever happened before? Not as question. far as I know. Although... Supposedly, there was a teacher here once, mm -hmm. a long time ago, that none of the students liked. They were always playing tricks on her, scaring her and stuff, until one day one of their pranks gave her a heart attack and she died. Good the animation. The black cat went running off into the woods during the funeral and never came back. But for years after that, people would spot it lurking in the shadows, and whenever they did, something bad would happen. They said it was the teacher, Miss Hallowell, coming back as her cat to get revenge. <laughs> Somebody around here is obviously trying to get some mileage out of a silly ghost story. One the headmistress is trying desperately to squelch, by the way. So remember, you didn't hear it from me. All right. <laughs> Any idea who the black cat is? It's Mel. See, like I said, she's a little psycho. And black cats, strange mishaps, it all fits in with that inane goth thing she's got going. I mean, who else could it be? I'll catch you later. See ya. That's so they all blame one another. Or suspect one another. Looks like I need a key. We'll get that key soon. And I realize I should have gone to the computer first. Um, Those are Roman numerals. And I can open this now. That would be... Two... Six... Four one? Aha. And here we have these uh, gnomes from Haunted Castle Malloy. <laughs> How did they get there? Uh, I'll call library assistant Kareem Myers. In case you don't know how to read Roman numerals, the answers are right here. So, the nice thing about these games is you don't ever have to go to an outside source to figure out the solutions. Or the stuff you need to know is available in-game. See a student body president for password assistance. That's why I should have gone here first before I went to Kareem. Or Kareem. Is he? <laughs> How's it going? Apparently, I need to get a password from you before I can use the school's computer. That's right. Unfortunately, I need to finish this DNA model before I can give it to you. Too bad, huh? Hmm, I suppose I can help with that. Want me to help you? <laughs> sure, you bet. Excellent idea. Okay, here's what you need to do. You just this have to cheating. make sure adenine is always paired with thymine and cytosine is always paired with guanine. And make sure each pair is connected to a sugar on the alternating sugar phosphate side. Just jump in. You'll figure it out. When you're done, bring it back. And if you get it right, I'll tell you the password. Sounds good. What else is going on? I'll catch you later. Adios. Yeah, isn't that cheating? It seems like it to me. She's a valedictorian candidate. All right, I like to separate these things out. Just makes it easier to figure out what needs to be paired with what. Oh, you've got a little bit of both. Here's just black, black. Okay, that will do for now. So I usually start over here. There's only one that this can be. So 
The red, oops, did that the wrong way. It's always paired with the blue. This is the only um, blue that works because the other two are already paired with reds. So, wha-bam. And then we need a black that's got this pink um, connector bit. I don't know what to call it. This has it, but it's already connected to a yellow. This could be it, except um, I need a red piece here or pink piece, and there is a one. Uh, what are you? You are probably the one I need. Yeah, that works. I don't think there's a piece up there. Oh, Ooh, or it could be this one. I think it actually is. Oops. I feel like it is this one. So it's one or the other. I'll figure out for sure. Uh, so yellow has to be paired with black. So I need a black that doesn't have the pink connector already. We've got two. Could be this one that fits. Yeah, and this one was missing the pink connector piece because we need it. Yeah, so that's right. Uh, and then we need something that's going to go here. And where's what? Where is that tiny little? There it is. Pretty sure this goes here. Just from memory, I'm pretty sure it goes on the side. So I need this one to go there. And what's next? Well, I guess this one. That makes sense. Okay. Um. So we need both of the colored molecules. Only these two work for that. The question is which one, because they both work. Actually, I'm going to just put that one here, because we know that's where it goes. So if we did this, we'd be missing um, the sugar molecule, but there isn't one that would correctly attach, so it's going to be this one. Yeah, that all works. Um, okay, what's next? Um, again, this one needs two molecules, so it's going to be this one and in this direction. Something that's going to go here, so sugar molecule. Move these over. Uh, not that one. This one works. It's the only one that works. All right. Uh, we need some yellow. Won't be that one. I think it's that one that works. Um, that one works there. That works there. There we go. That should be it. <laughs> I remember the first time I played this, and I was expecting Nancy to comment when she had it completed correctly, and she doesn't for this. And I kept checking like what have I done wrong it all seems right and yeah Nancy just doesn't tell you if you when you have it right or not you have to go and check with uh, Izzy finished with that DNA model oh I don't like this response you tell me awesome yes okay, okay. Good. <laughs> your password is WAC 35 N E 136 WAC 35 N E 136 got it thanks what else is going on what do you think your chances are for making valedictorian? Chance has nothing to do with it. I deserve to be valedictorian. Therefore, I'm going to be valedictorian. And she thinks really highly of herself. What if there's a tie for the highest grade point average? It's not just a matter of getting the highest grades. The faculty also looks at extracurricular activities, leadership, community service, school spirit, things I totally excel at. I'm going to be valedictorian, and then I'm going to Harvard. That's quite the ambitious goal. I've harassed you enough. See ya. And doesn't mean it's not possible, but it, it is really ambitious. So, yeah, okay. So now, I'm just plugging my phone ahead of time because I know I need to do that. Uh, all right. I'm in um, charge of the snack shop? Yes. This should be interesting. Well, just I don't even know where that. it is. Yes, we do. I pointed it out already. <laughs> so I'm snack shop boss. Um, I have to do that at least daily. Uh, the Black Cat and Other Post Stories by Edgar Allan Poe has been stolen. Um, da -da 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 -da. Okay, I have to do... Actually, let me just check this. Oh, I can't. Right, while well, it's plugged in. 
I'm helping out with a page for something. Academics, right? The Logitorian Race? Alright. Download that one. And that one. Save. Let's see if they're good pictures. Right here, they don't look like it. <laughs> they're really blurry. <laughs> um, and I, so when I was playing Resorting to Danger, I made note of an ISBN. That I think I have to look up, but I don't know if it works yet. I feel like it has to do with when you have to look in the um, Lost and Found War, so I'm not going to do it yet. I mean, I might be totally wrong, but it's, well, maybe I have to go over here first. So, this is the book. It has something to do with this book. And I don't quite remember the steps of uh, how to get it. Looks like Mel got another note. Okay. Good talk to Mel. But first, oh, I'm going to get more texts. Uh oh. oh. Lila's not going to like that. Oh, do I turn around? No. I'm gonna... I haven't been outside yet, so... Just, like... What a property. Oh. Hello. Uh, yeah. We've got a giant tree with some benches around it. And a, uh... Squirrel. <laughs> okay. Then we've got... This, which, um... I'll look at it again a little bit later. And then... Locked. What's the key that I have? What's it for? Not for this. No. And I normally call Ned from over here. No. I'm not going to. I have... I don't know if other players do this, but I have like a certain order in which I normally do things at certain places I always go to each time I play through the games. I'm... Uh, I'm resisting this time because I don't... Because I'm doing a video recording, I don't know that I necessarily need to do all the stuff I, I do out of habit. So I'm just trying to use up time more uh, more effectively and efficiently. <laughs> okay, let's go talk about this date theft. How's it going? Her boyfriend theft. What's this about you're stealing Leela's boyfriend? The guy asked me to Oxbow's holiday bash and I said yes. Big whoop. Uh, I don't know about big whoop. But he was dating Leela. Mm -hmm. It's a free country. He can date whomever he wants. Look, I don't steal boyfriends, okay? I don't have to. Guys are just naturally attracted to me. Oh my goodness. I know how conceited that sounds, but it it's does. the truth. Leela had her chance with this guy. She couldn't cut it, so now he's into me. She's just going to have to deal with it. Yeah, again, just not a very nice person. The Missing Book of Stories by Edgar Allan Poe. Do you by any chance know where it is? Uh, no. <laughs> No offense, but some of the questions you ask are kind of strange. That wasn't even a strange one. Nancy's asked far weirder questions than the one about a library book that's missing, that is advertised as being missing, so... Thanks for all Come the on. advice. Pop in anytime! I'm sure we're going to talk about stranger things. Not the show. Um, later on. Uh, actually, let's go this way. I'll talk to Leela, but first, snack shop boss! Alright, I don't even have right to read up. that. The snack shop is open. Toast a bagel. Alright. You know, I hate to admit it, but I really like calculus. I no love listening knows. to the students no, talking. I, do. I love going to that class. Everybody does. Mr. Harris is like the best looking teacher in the whole universe. Oh my word. <laughs> Order up. <laughs> yeah, there's some great uh Great chatter that we hear from the students. To snow pretty soon. Blizzard type snow. There's a particular conversation I always look for Order's overhearing. Ready. We'll see when it uh, comes up. Oops. Come on. Third time's the charm. Oh, when I say water, chocolate bar, there we go. Come get your order. Just lettuce on some bread. Okay. There. All done. Interesting choice. Oh, Whoa. right. Things just fall from the sky. I wonder what this is to. I know. <laughs> okay. It's a few things to talk about. It's only fair to warn you. I'm not in a very good mood right now. <laughs> could ask her, or could say that I'll come back later, but I won't. Because of Izzy and your boyfriend? Of course, because of Izzy and my boyfriend. How could she do it? Did she think I wouldn't mind if she started dating Jacob? Did she think I wouldn't find out? 
My gosh, it's all over school. Okay, when did Twilight come out? Because I always associate this with Twilight. <laughs> and uh, I don't know if if that's uh, because the films came out or even the books were released around this time. And if there was a, a reason they picked the name Jacob for her boyfriend, I don't know. But that's where my brain goes every time I play this game. You had no idea Izzy was interested in him? I'm not stupid. I could tell he was on her radar. The way she'd look at him and flirt her brains out with him. I just never figured she'd actually make a move on him while he was still dating me. I mean, who does that to their own roommate? Maybe it's all just a big misunderstanding. Want to hear the text I just got from Jacob? It's true. Sorry. End of message. Misunderstanding? I don't think so. But you know what I'm going to say to Izzy when I finally calm down enough to face her? Nothing. Nothing? I'm just going to act like nothing's wrong. If she's got the guts to bring up the subject, fine. But I'm not going to say a word. I'm going to let her wonder just how and when I'm going to get back at her. Because I will definitely get back at her. Man. In the meantime, I'm just going to shake it off and get back in the game. What's up, girl? Yeah, these teenagers are mean. I don't think I really realized that. Like I said, I love this game and I've played it so many times, but I'm really analyzing it when I do these uh, recorded playthroughs and I have some mixed feelings about it now. Did you get that picture of Megan for me? I've got it right here, but the only way you're going to get it from me is by beating me at Scram. What do you say? Oh, excellent. That's what I say. Same as before. Bring it on. Excellent. Okay. Each game has two rounds. You play one round as the blocker and the other round as the scorer, and you take turns throwing the darts. First, the blocker throws three darts, then the scorer throws three darts, and so on. Now, the object of the game is for the blocker to end the round by landing a dart in any section of all 20 numbers, while the object of the game for the scorer is, naturally, to accumulate as many points as possible before the round ends. I assume that hitting the bullseye is worth 50 points and hitting the ring outside it is worth 25? That's right. Once all the numbers are blocked, the rolls are reversed and you play another round. After two rounds, whoever has accumulated the most points wins. Just like in regular darts, the harder the section of any number is to hit, the more points you get. So, you ready? I'm ready. Game on! So, in this round, you're the blocker, and you're going to try to hit the high numbers so they get crossed off the score list. I think I got it. Okay, so now it's Aww. my turn to throw, and I get to score. Guess I better go for the high numbers before you take them out. She took my 25. So, the first time I played this game, the first several times I played this game, I did not understand it. It took me forever to, f to understand what they were talking about with the blocker. Because I, I guess I just didn't notice these being crossed off. But, uh... Anyways. Ah, shoot. That works. There we go. Aw, oh, man. Normally I get a couple Nailed rounds it. of doing the 50. Or oh, the 25. Yeah. Oh, that's me. Oh, goodness. Uh, 16. <laughs> I was like, why isn't she throwing it? Let's see if I can get this one that gives me a... That three. works. Ah, no. That works. Bingo. There we go. Got the extra points. Aw, oh, she got there too. Man. Yes. Okay, 13. I know this is me this time. <laughs> Just trying to land my dart where I want it. There we go. Extra points. Yes. Yes! Okay, 11. Ooh. All right! I there did it! There we go. Eight. Where? Oh, there's the eight. Pretty much right where my dart is. Floating. I did it! <laughs> Bingo! I did. Gosh, I'm good. Gosh, I'm good. Nuts. All right, let's go for some sixes here. Oh, yeah. Gosh.
gosh, I'm good. Okay. Ooh. I did it. it! Didn't quite go the way that I wanted works. it to. Bingo! There. Oh yeah. Please miss. <laughs> okay, good. I'm going for threes. I thought I was gonna go for twos. That works. Indeed. Darn it. <laughs> Nailed it. All right, and this means I'm gonna keep yes. playing. All right, one more crack at this. I did it. Bingo. All right. I'm blocker this round. All right. Let's get those high numbers. That works. I might try and go for the 25 first. Oh, shoot. Oh. Missed. I really did. That was bad. Oh, yeah. Okay, come on. There we go. Ah. Bingo. It suddenly moved <laughs> in very much the other direction than I was aiming for. I normally do this so much better. Nailed it! 18, there you are. And 17, where are you? There we go. That works! Yes! Cooperate. I did it! <laughs> 15 is right here. And 14. Oh, that's four. There's 14. Bingo! Alright, let's take out 13. And 12. And there we go. And 11. Bingo! Nuts. Yes. Okay, let's see if I can get nine. Where's eight? Is that the ball? Oh no, eight's right here. Ooh. I did it! And seven. Okay, cooperate. All right! <laughs> Nuts. And where's four? And All right! Three. I did it! Nailed this it! Should be going into the last round as long as I don't <laughs> supremely mess up. <laughs> you beat me. Indeed. Nice job. Here's the photo of Megan you wanted. Great. Looks like I'll have to take a picture of a picture. Alright. It almost completely zoomed in, I think. There we All go. All done. You can keep it. Thanks. Want to play again? No, but we have something else to no, talk thanks. about. No, thanks. Need anything else? Any idea what happened to the book of Poe stories that's missing from the library? I sure don't have it. Mel, our resident goth girl, she probably does. That freak's probably working on a way to bring him <laughs> back from the dead so he can autograph it. Oh, man. I better get going. Okie dokie. <laughs> I say okie dokie all the time. All right, I have some more pictures to take. You can come in. Hi. Hi. I'm Becca Sawyer, remember? Sorry, I totally blanked on your name. You get all the pictures uploaded? Not yet. For one thing, I need to take a picture of you. Mm -hmm. Oh, right. Let's do it. Okay. I got things to do, Becca. <laughs> Might be too zoomed in. Fab, know. listen, be sure to let me know when you get all the pictures uploaded, okay? I can't remember. Did I tell you not to bother with Danielle Hayes' picture? No, but her name's been scratched off, so that's what I figured. Sorry, my mind is going all this paper writing, which I kind of need to get back to. I'll stop hassling you now. Bye. Oh, one more question. Who do you think the black cat is? I haven't gotten any notes, so I don't know, and I don't really care. See ya. Okay. <laughs> Just leave it at that. 
All right, let's get a few more photos. Come on in. Becca the new girl, what's going on? Oh, let's talk about the cello. You play that cello pretty well. Thank you. I taught myself to play when I was 10. Does Waverly have an orchestra? Yeah, but as you may have guessed, I'm not much of a joiner. <laughs> Do you hang out with Izzy much? I don't hang out with her at all. I can't stand her. She's so fake and vacuous. It's like talking to a mannequin. <laughs> that's mean, but that's a great line. <laughs> also, I like the use of the word vacuous. How can she be vacuous and be a valedictorian candidate? Fair question. You tell me, and we'll both know. And a weird answer. Are you friends with Leela? No, although I used to be. Of course, that was in grade school, before she got caught up in sports. Now all she thinks about is competing and winning and school spirit. Stuff I just find pathetic. Yeah, it's kind of sad that that's her view of it. I mean, you don't have to enjoy that stuff, certainly, but for many people, that's a good way to feel positive about yourself and um, a good source of endorphins and just being happy and healthy. As long as you've got other people supporting you too and that's not too competitive do you think she's smart extremely which to me makes her descent into jockdom even sadder this is one of the few students who actually notes that other people are intelligent and could be deserving of uh, being valedictorian she doesn't make excuses do most kids like her i'm not a fan but everyone else you bet how well do you know rachel not well we don't hang out. With whom does she hang out? That is something you'll have to ask her. I just know I don't. Mm. We have nothing in common. Plus, there's something about her that's a little off. Yeah, we hear that quite often from the other classmates. What do you mean by off? She's just a little strange, and not in a genius <laughs> sort of way either. In fact, when it comes to being valedictorian... It's a mystery how she ever made it this far. I need to take a close-up of you for a page on the school website I'm helping put up. The school wants my picture on its <laughs> website? Groovy. Blast away. All right. So take fine. the picture. I have patience. <laughs> I called Megan Vargas. Yeah? How is she? Haven't you talked to her? No, we're not very close. She thinks Izzy is the black cat. That's only because she thinks Izzy stole her boyfriend. Hmm, common I told theme. Megan she was better off without the guy because anybody who'd be attracted to Izzy was obviously worthless. But she didn't take that very well. Who do you think the black cat is? I don't do conversations on that subject, remember? Especially when it's so obvious that it's Izzy. <laughs> I like that she still answers me, even though she doesn't want to talk about it. What makes it so obvious? Izzy doesn't deserve to be valedictorian, and she knows it. She also knows she'll never get into an Ivy League school unless she's valedictorian. So, she has to eliminate the competition. Okay, I said before that she points out when other people are smart, but I guess she doesn't... Not for Izzy, because she doesn't think she deserves to be valedictorian. Interesting. Do you by any chance have a library book called The Black Cat and Other Poe Stories? The one that's missing from the library? Sure don't. I've never been much into Edgar. He's a little over the top, even for me. <laughs> I'll quit bugging you. Sounds good. All right. I have one more photograph to take. Mr. Mingle says hi. <laughs> from resorting to danger. <laughs> hi. Hey, how come I couldn't find anything about you online, like on your page? Ah, uh, your page comes up again in later games. <laughs> you looked me up online? Well, yeah. It's the 21st century. Soon as you meet somebody, that's what you do. I don't know, and I don't. <laughs> anyone under the age of like 30 who doesn't have something up on your page, either A, has been living on Mars, or B, is seriously weird. And since it doesn't look like either of those applies to you, what gives? I took my page down because, for personal reasons. Well, do you have a boyfriend? Yeah. Well, who is he? Where does he live? Come on, you can tell me stuff. I'm your roommate. I'm sorry, but I, I'd rather not talk about him right now, okay? Yeah, okay, whatever. So what do you want to talk about? Oh, she just seems so sad. I met Mel. She's very... different. Yeah, I think that's why we're friends. She did say I was her friend, right? Oh. Sorry, that was dumb. There we go, sounding all insecure and loserish again. Oh, she's just self-conscious and 
doesn't know if she has a support network. I just feel so bad for her. Are you a Waverly Legacy like Mel is? As if. I earned my way into this place. I was accepted because I was the most deserving applicant, like, ever. Those are my words, not the school's, <laughs> of course. But it's still true. I met Leela. She was in the rec room. She's usually in the gym, either bouncing, kicking, hitting, or throwing some kind of ball. You name a sport, she's great at it. And competitive? That girl loves to win, and almost always does. Some really competitive people cheat. Does she? Probably. I mean, I can't prove it, but come on. A jock up for valedictorian? No way. Something's hinky somewhere. And speaking of hinky, she started wrapping her wrist about a week ago. But is it actually hurt? Debatable. Mm. Could she be the black cat? Well, she's here on a scholarship, so it's real hard for me to believe she's smart enough to, one, secretly be the black cat, and two, divert suspicion by faking an injury and making herself look like a victim of the black cat. But I have to admit, it is possible. There again, more of the mean commentary. Rachel enlisted me to help her get her web project done. Better you than me. <laughs> Man. You don't like her? Let's just say she's not one of my favorite people. She's kind of flaky. Like last month, she flunked a test that took her out of the running for valedictorian. Technically, she shouldn't even be on this floor anymore. And there we go. More of that same sort of feedback about Rachel. I need to take a close-up of you for a web page Rachel's working on. That okay? <sighs> Without your camera, and let's get it over with. Cheese. <laughs> Zoom. Becca, what are you doing? Let's see if this is a good picture or not. I'm worried it's not. Any idea where that book that's missing from the library is? Why? Are you an Edgar Allan Poe fan? I'd like to find it so I can earn some extra credits. You and me both. Unfortunately, I don't have a clue who has it. No, I didn't look at the DeBarrett stuff at all. Meh. Any idea why it would be missing? Somebody must have wanted that book and not wanted anyone to know they wanted it. That's all I can figure. Did it go missing before or after notes from the black cat started showing up? Before. Right before, in fact. I see what you're getting at. It was called the black cat, wasn't it? That's kind of freaky. Do you know where I can get the key that opens the special collections cabinet in the library? You can get it from me. How bad do you want it? Oh, I sense bribery. Uh, kind of bad. <laughs> There's a book in the collection I'd really like to look at. Okay, here's the deal. I'll give you the key to the cabinet if you can finish these orthographic views for me. More cheating. How do I do that? <laughs> Just figure out which views go with which object. Each object has a front, top, and side view. Those are examples in case you need them. I can do that. Bring them back when you're done. Fine. Anything else? I'll see you in a bit. Later. It's actually a really easy puzzle in my view. However, I always feel like this should be front and that should be side. I don't know why. It's just the angle of it. It just... And because they're showing top, at least in the example from this perspective, it makes me feel like this should be front. Like it, it always just throws me off. Hey, why didn't that... that was... Oh, where... There we go. <laughs> All right. That's going to be top. That will be front i'm just gonna say side that's a top that's a side that would be side that would be side that would be side <laughs> that would be front that would be weird where do you go front i guess uh, that's a front that's a top. That's a top. And again, Nancy doesn't confirm if you have it done correctly or not. So let's check with Kareem. Can you finish those ortho views for me? There you go. Looks great. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Here's the key to the cabinet. <laughs> Whatever books you take out, be sure to put them back when you're done. They're too old and fragile to carry around. I will. And leave the key in the lock. I'll grab it later. That doesn't seem secure. Anything else? <laughs> I'd better get going. Bye. Enjoy. All right, so I'm going to head downstairs, go to the computer first and upload those photos. See how many I have to retake. Oh, okay. 
She always looks like she has a black eye. I don't know if this comes through the same for you guys watching this, but... Yeah, that's, it looks like a terrible photo. And that's it, right? Yeah. Okay. And then I want to go to the special collections. Get that key. The Story of Four by Madeline Moore. So there's that name from the sampler at Melfer. I read a Hollowell. Oh, something. Uh, does, is there any mention of her being a nurse? Because there's this, what always seems to me like a continuity error. It might not even be the right term, but missing information. So I'm just trying to see if it's mentioned here. Hmm. Da, da, da. Okay. There is mention in the game about her going into nursing. This comes up at the end, and I always thought they forgot to include something about that. So, okay. So we do know that Rita Hollowell likely spent time with Poe when he was in the hospital, possibly as his nurse. Okay, that does come up. I just haven't read this in so long that I didn't remember it. Okay. Did I look at that? Hang on. It's not here. Okay, there's something else. Where's that photo? I thought that was in here. Oh, here we go. I was like, I'm missing something. <laughs> this picture is important. <laughs> Need to look at that. Hello, her interactive staff. All right. Let's go snip. This cornerstone oh. looks different than it did in that book. Indeed, it did. Hang on. Ah. Uh. Menu. Aw. Step back. Sounds like the Ooh. black cat's stalking Izzy. Anyways, I'm not gonna worry about that. Okay. And I often have a hard time getting these pieces to rotate the way I want them to. Like, <laughs> come on. Oh, you're almost there. Like, it starts switching directions on me. Oh, my word. There we go. Okay. That's. No, that wasn't right either. That, that's the way it has to go, right? Good. It fixed itself. <laughs> no, hang on. I want... Ah! Yes, I think I want this one. Everything's gone crazy. Oh. No. That means that piece is not gonna go there. There. That's... Roughly the way it needs to go. I don't remember which piece it was. Come on, turn. There we go. No, other way. Come on, keep going. There we go. Good, it, it writes itself. <laughs> and I'm gonna have a visitor. Well, hey, little there guy. We What's there up? we go. There we go. What are you doing? <gasps> hey! Beef. Come back here! He must have some kind of nest up there. In the words of George from Ransom of the Seven Ships, I wonder what human he learned that from. In terms of him thieving from me. Uh, okay. This is important. First, low base, then col coloratura. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Col coloratura. And then we need to know this. Uh, close observation of the wedge tail, large bill, shaggy breast, rough and elegantly long primary feathers right here. Uh, reconstruction of the United States will lead to an even more wondrous conclusion. Uh, that's also important. Uh, to have known Edgar Allan Poe. Uh, celebratory dinner. That's an etiquette. Hidden treasure, Dupin, great. So some key things in here. Other post stories. There we go. 
Okay. And whilst I'm over here, let's see if I can go in the cellar. Or not. Hello? Nancy, hi. I hadn't heard from you and just wondered how you were doing. You at the school? I sure am. So how's it going? Yeah, so I think I said earlier, I normally call Ned when I'm over here. And they have forced me to talk to them when I had intended not to. Great. The girls I met so far are bright and interesting and seem to like me. Of course they like you. I hope so, because I can tell already that where you fit in socially around here is huge. They got a pecking order going, huh? And mm -hmm. it is brutal. Like junior high on steroids. It's intense. Just be yourself and you'll do fine. Well. Be myself? Ned, I'm a detective. I'm pretty much here to spy on people. <laughs> if they get wind of that... Like I said, just lie through your teeth and you'll do fine. <laughs> That's a great line. Any luck tracking down the source of those mysterious notes? They're being sent by someone who signs them as the Black Cat, complete with a paw print and scratch marks. And only valedictorian candidates have been getting them. Mm -hmm. Think someone there has a grudge against brainy kids? Or one of the brainy kids is trying to get rid of her competition. Being valedictorian is that big a deal? Apparently. It's a very big deal. The valedictorian gets a college scholarship. Full ride, school of her choice. But how smart can these kids be if they're intimidated by a bunch of silly notes? It's midterm study break. The kids who chose to stay at the school are cramming for tests and madly writing papers. The notes may be silly, but they're still distracting. And some of the accidents that have followed them have been pretty malicious. More than some malicious, of them. Huh? You're not posing as a valedictorian, are you? No, I'm not. Good. Although I am living on the same floor as they are. <laughs> you just had to throw that in, didn't you? Sorry. So what is your plan? I'm going to search every inch of this place and question everybody I see until something or someone leads me to the black cat. And in the process, you're going to be very, very careful. Right. Right. <laughs> Doesn't sound like he believes me. So I had a very different high school experience as far as valedictorian goes. I grew up in a small town. Our graduation class was about 100 kids. Valedictorian for us was not based on GPA or any of those extracurriculars. We voted as a class on who we wanted to be our valedictorian and who we thought would best represent us as a class. So to me, this concept is so alien to me. And, and I mean, I've heard about it since since graduating and in other forms of media, like in television shows where it was high school themed and yada, yada, yada. But I really can't relate to this pressure. Um, it's It's just such a different world than my high school experience was. I've met all the valedictorian candidates. Cool. Tell me about them. Kareen, the girl I'm rooming with, she's not exactly Miss Popularity. Mm -hmm. What makes you say that? So far, I've only met one girl who even halfway likes her. That's not good. At this school? It's a disaster. Mm -hmm. Keep going. Who else? Believe it or not, there's a goth living in the room next to mine. Well, he'd get a it. He's goth? friends with Henry. As in weird hair and disturbing <laughs> body piercings? At an exclusive East Coast all-girl boarding school? Oh, judgmental. She's a legacy, meaning the women in her family have been attending Waverly for generations. If you're a legacy, you're automatically accepted. You're not automatically liked, however. She doesn't have a lot of friends? Doesn't seem to. Is she into black cats? Don't know that yet. Maybe I'm a sucker for obvious suspects, <laughs> but it sounds to me like you should find out. Keep going. Who else? Yeah, I never really realized that, but that's kind of hypocritical given Ned's history with Henry Bolet, because he could be classified as a goth given his appearance and um, just the type of clothing he's drawn to and wears and all that. So, hmm, continuity error within the series or just hypocritical reactions? I don't know. Yeah, I, I never realized that before. Izzy Romero is a valedictorian candidate and student body president. Is she nice? She is to me, so far. <laughs> Keywords. But that's probably because I'm still new to the pecking order. Mm -hmm. She's at the front of it? Oh, yeah. She rules the roost around here, that's for sure. But she's not without enemies. Roost rulers seldom are. <laughs> Especially when they make a habit of stealing their classmates' boyfriends. Yeah. Whoa, talk about living dangerously. <laughs> Keep going. Who else? Lila Yadev is Waverly's star athlete. And man, is she competitive. Spends most of her time in the rec room trying to get people to play games with her. She's a valedictorian? Yep. Shouldn't she be studying like everyone else? Says she's got everything under control. 
Academically, at least. Socially, her roommate Izzy just stole her boyfriend. Mm -hmm. Yikes. So what's she going to do about it? Right now, nothing. She's going to let Izzy stew for a while and worry about what she's going to do about it. Ooh, this Izzy person could be in for it big time. Mm -hmm. Keep going. Who else? Our last one. This girl named Rachel asked me to help her with a school project. How'd you get out of that? I didn't. I told her I'd help her. And actually, it's a good thing. Gives me an excuse to go poking around, talking to people. So what's this Rachel person like? Well, no one around here seems to like her very much. How come? Bad breath? B.O.? Poor taste in shoes? <laughs> She's just strange somehow. Kind of absent-minded. She scares some kids, and she seems to keep to herself. The quiet loner type, huh? Better keep an eye on her. All the seniors here get assigned weekly work-study jobs. Guess what mine is? Cleaning erasers. <laughs> no. Collecting milk money. <laughs> no. Sharpening pencils. Snack shop boss. Snack shop boss? <laughs> I have to stand behind the counter in the rec room and fill kids' snack orders. If I don't do it at least once a day, I get demerits. If I fill a lot of orders in one day, I get credits. He sounded so you affronted. Sound I am excited. I like earning credits. I also like listening in on everybody's conversations yes. while I fill their orders. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Ned sounded so upset by that. Like, what is this? What nonsense? <laughs> but yes, listening to everybody's conversations is fantastic. Like I said earlier, there's a particular one I'm waiting to overhear, and it's great. The notes from the black cat may have something to do with a teacher named Rita Hollowell. Oh, yeah? What'd she teach? Literature. At least she did, about 150 years ago. Excuse me? She helped found Waverly Academy back in 1866. And do you think she has something to do with notes being sent to students now? Not only did she have a black cat, but it looks like she hid something very valuable somewhere in Ramsey Hall. That's the old building I'm staying in. That's interesting. Does anyone else know about this? That's a big I'm question. I'm not sure, but if someone does know and is trying to find out what Hollowell hid, that might explain the notes from the black cat. Mm-hmm. You know, you're going to have to be careful what you ask and tell people really careful <laughs> because if someone is trying to find it and realizes you may be trying to find it too i'll be careful ned don't worry too late yeah the grammar and it's come up a lot and i haven't pointed it out but it's now it's grading this should be really not real it's just awful and uh, megan vargas said that she was real upset and nancy says it in the introduction to the games um and especially given that this is focused on valedictorians who are supposed to be doing really well and English would be part of that, they should know how to talk. And it drives me crazy. I'd better go before someone overhears me. Watch yourself, Nan. I will, Ned. Talk to you soon. Yeah, I'm going to be overheard standing in front of a window. Normally, when I do this, I call from right here. <laughs> so I'm a bit more secluded. Anyways, they don't know that. But I guess that's why I normally call Ned from over here, because I guess I was forced to previously, and I just didn't remember that. But yeah, that's normally what I do when I first play the game and first go outside. Um, okay. There is a book here. Which... I don't know if this actually helps. So, because, <laughs> because I'm not American, I don't know where a lot of the states are. I know some of them. Um... But yeah, this puzzle that this is supposed to kind of help with, but I don't know if it really does. Um, takes a bit of time. Where have I seen this picture before? Like, I, I know it's it comes up somewhere, and I don't know if it's like on merchandise or just in another game, but I recognize this picture, and I didn't think it had to do with um, this game and this book. Who texted me? Oh, that suggests I did all the photos correctly, or at least they're not a mess. And then we've got this wall and this this water stain image. Right now it looks like a cat, but it changes each time you play the game and it's just kind of cool. It's not realistic, but it's cool. Anyways, let's leave this cellar and turn off the light. Let's go look at the web page. And um, I could start some of this stuff, but I think I'm going to do that the next day. Um, Thing about the other stuff I want to do. Academics. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's gone. So that 
must mean that I did things correctly. <laughs> um, and actually, how's it going? Is it true you just got a second note from the black cat? No, I'm pretty sure the note I got was from Leela. It was a lame attempt to get even with me for stealing her stupid boyfriend. Do you think she sent the first note, too? Who cares? The black cat can send me as many notes as she wants. They're just words on paper. You know, in some ways I agree with that, but this person is actually acting on them. So you do kind of have to take it seriously, given the previously aforementioned malicious acts on other students. I'd really like to see that second black cat note you got. See, this is Sorry. a stranger request. I did the same thing to it that I did to the first note. Burned it. No, fine. Thanks for all the advice. Adios. It wasn't advice. <laughs> Anyways. Um, da -dum -dum -dum. I need to talk to Rachel. I'm here. Hey, you got everyone's picture uploaded. Yes, I did. Sure One did. try. <laughs> Fab. Now I need you to lay out the web page. Just get back on the computer, log mm. in, and click on the Meet the Candidates link again. It'll take you to a description of exactly where I want everything to go. No problem. <laughs> I'll check the page when you're done to make sure everything's kosher. If anything's in the wrong place, I'll leave you a message describing what needs to be fixed. And once the layout is perfect, report back to me, because I'll probably have something else for you to do. do I knew noted. you were going to say that. <laughs> in case I forgot to say it before... I'm really grateful for your help. Maybe someday I can return the favor. Don't worry about it. It'll be nice just having you as a friend. Right. Yeah, she seems really uncertain about that. So, um, I guess I can talk to Leela. Hey, what's going on? Is it true you're here on a scholarship? That's right, athletic, full ride. Although I have to maintain a pretty high grade point average in order to keep it. Luckily for me, that's not a problem. So it's okay if you aren't the valedictorian? It'd be okay with the school, but it sure wouldn't be okay with me. No matter what I'm competing in, I always play to win. The nice thing is, I usually do. <laughs> what would happen if you got injured and couldn't play sports for the rest of the year? They'd probably pull my scholarship, so not only would I not be valedictorian, I wouldn't even be able to graduate, which would really shoot holes in my mm. future. So if I get injured again and I find out it's this black cat person's fault, believe me, she's going to wind up injured too. Okay, that's a threat. <laughs> that's it for now. Hit him hard. All right, let's go finish up the web page. Well, this one web page. <laughs> ah. Plagiarism. Ooh. Is that true or is it just a rumor? I will get to that in a bit. I don't think I missed any others, did I? So, go back to that page. All right, logic puzzle. Can't always ignore the top one because that just doesn't help. But Lizzie and Mel as far apart as possible. Um, Karina is immediately after the girl who chose Bio at summer before Izzy. So, if we know there's someone before Izzy, that means Izzy has to be way over here. And then Mel over here. So, as far apart as possible. Um, Karina is after the girl chose bio but somewhere before izzy so she's she's got people on either side of her it seems i mean she's not right at the end just the point of that <laughs> uh, roommates don't go side by side megan's from concord and loves history okay all these well yeah i guess i could start putting this stuff down so now izzy actually maybe i'll do the other stuff later or afterward um, yeah, I should figure out where the people go first. Uh, Mel used to spend summers at Leela's R.I. home. The girl who enjoys English, that's her, is from Boston, is immediately before the girl who loves history, but somewhere after the one who picked math. For the girl who loves history. So we know this is roughly the order, but we have to figure out where Leela goes. Biology and psych students are roommates. Which means these two can't be side by side. Um, I feel like she's second, so. Green is immediately after the girl who chose bio. That's why she's right, because she picked bio. 
So I'm over 4AZ. That should be it. Okay. So Kareen, Leela, Megan, Rachel. Boston, I think, was her. Concord, we said, is Megan. Greenwich, I believe, is Mel. Newport is Leela. Pittsburgh is Rachel. New York is Izzy. Art. Biology. English. History. Math. And psychology. There we go. That looks right to me. Oh, Nancy comments that time. <laughs> A rarity. And I'm going to talk with Mel about uh, the it's plagiarism. Open. It's not true, if that's what you want to know. So you didn't plagiarize that paper? Of course not. I mean, I may bend the rules now and then, especially the stupid ones, but I have never cheated on a test or turned in a paper somebody else wrote, ever. Yeah, great animation for a face. Why did they think you did? Mrs. Arlington, that's my art history teacher, she matched my paper with something on Paper Trail. Paper Trail? Papertrail.edu. It's a website all the teachers here go to when they want to compare a paper that's been handed in with papers available on the internet. Students aren't supposed to know about it. Not only is it insulting that they'd think I'd cheat, but that I'd do it in such a way that I was sure to get caught? Come on, I am not that stupid. I also really like her deliveries on this line. Just really great. Is it true you recently got a second note from the black cat? Yeah, I got the first note the day after Megan left. If I could just get online, I could clear all this up, but I can't. And whoever this black cat person is knows it. This is just so frustrating. Unless... Becca, look, I'm not anyone's favorite person at this school. The kids, the teachers. If I get kicked out, nobody's going to care. But I don't deserve this, and I need help. Just before the school booted me offline, I got a glimpse of the IP address of whoever posted the paper I supposedly plagiarized. I didn't get a chance to write it down, but I do remember that none of the digits in it repeated. That's See impressive. if you can track it down. That's all I'm asking. Could you do that, please? Yeah, I can do that. Sure. Hunting down the facts is kind of a hobby with me anyway. <laughs> Here's Just the kinda. paper I got back from Mrs. Arlington. Just go to the academics page on the school website and look under resources for mm -hmm. paper trail. If you enter a data source code, it'll tell you the IP address of the person who posted the paper I allegedly stole from. Okay. Yeah, so I thought I first had to find one of these data source codes or whatever that didn't have repeating digits. And it was like, this is dumb. <laughs> you, you can just pick any of them. I Thank you, the top Becca. One. Oh, man. Just knowing someone's on my side is a huge relief. Anyway... What's new with you? I better get going. Drop in any time. I shall. You can count on it. Um, okay, I'll just quickly talk with Rachel. What? Oh, and get a text. That's not ah. very nice. But then gossip seldom is. Lies. Horrible spelling. Should be capitalized. <laughs> ah. What this time? Oh, good. I did it right. Becca, nice job on the layout. Woohoo! Thank you. What's next? Next, I need you to take a few more pictures. Here's a list. Mm -hmm. They're all things that are special to Waverly Academy somehow. Iconic, I guess you'd say. They can all be found on the school grounds. The only one that might be a little problematic is the picture of Rita Hollowell and her cat. Mm -hmm. She was one of Waverly's founding teachers. There's a couple of references to the picture in the school records, but it hasn't been seen in eons. But if you can find it, and I can get a photo of that photo up on the website, it would be such an incredible coup that it might even put me back in the running for valedictorian. I'll give it my best shot. All right, I like this task. Upload them like before. I'll check them when they're up. And if I see any problems, I'll leave a note for you on the page. Come back to me when you're done. Well, good luck with your papers. See ya. All right, which means I now feel ready to go to the next day pretty soon. Um, yeah, so some of the pictures I need to take are this one which I will do now there's some outdoor ones that I like to wait until the second day because it starts to snow so um this is this I kind of consider as my cue to move on to the next day oh not at this moment though take picture first <laughs> my goodness can't talk and play at the same time apparently <laughs> okay 
close that or not? Okay. And I have to get in here to take a picture, so that'll come later. Um, I don't want to go outside. I just want to take a picture of this. Zoom in and pan way down. I'll zoom a little bit more. Is that not great? We'll see. That one might need a, another attempt. <laughs> ah, go. Yeah, I guess I can upload those now. And then I'll do the the search. Um, where is that going? About us, right? White literally. Here we go. Download and download. Okay. Academics, resources, there we go. So the first number on that page is the one I'm putting in. So this is where you have to um, have no repeating digits. And there are a few different combinations. And I think it, it's, you start down here. I normally go top to bottom and then like pick one here and then move through each column. But it's, it's one of these two, I think is the first one. So anyways, we'll just see. Uh, that would that would be a repeat. That would be a repeat. That's not. Repeat, 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 repeat. Okay, so one, five, three is not good. Try a seven. Repeat, repeat, not. Okay, what did I do? 69, 8, 7, 1, 1, 3. No, that's not right. 69, 8, 7, I could just do 3. That's not it either. 8, 7, 2, 4, 5. Yeah, there's no repeats in that. That's not it either. Okay, that would be repeats. So I'll get rid of that. No, no, no. 57. Okay. Repeat, 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 repeat. Not a repeat. Repeat, repeat. Not a repeat. If the there date on this paper is correct, then whoever posted the paper <laughs> online did so after Mel turned it in. Which proves she didn't copy it. There we Jacob go. Jacob Price. I wonder if that's the same Jacob Izzy allegedly stole from Leela. It's a good question. All right. So let's go chit chat with Mel. Come on in. How goes it? Was the date on your term paper the date that you turned it in? Yeah. Why? Because the paper you supposedly plagiarized wasn't online face. until the next day. Someone must have gotten a hold of your paper, copied it, and posted it in an attempt to make you look like a plagiarist. So, so good. all the headmistress has to do is check the dates and I'm in the clear. Oh my gosh, Becca, thank you. Thank you. So who posted it? Who tried to frame me? I, uh, I don't know for sure, but it kind of looks like Izzy may have been involved. Well, what a could have been Leela. Hey, I got something a newbie like you might like to read. Has some interesting information about Waverly. Thanks. You can keep it. I know everything I want to know about this place. Anything else going on? Maybe I'll pop in again later. Door's always open. Let's take a look at this. Because sometimes one of the trivia questions at the end, I think, has to do with this. So, All School Odyssey and Oxborough Prep. Schools Ravens finished in second the past eight years. Oh, they they won this time. The coach is Miss Sarah Donnell. Uh, Tara Moore. So there's more again. So that'll be a relation, maybe, to that um that book author, Evelyn Corbelis. So that's a relation to Mel. Donna Mingles. Mingles is the name of the dog. <laughs> And Junior's Eleanor Pendolin. That's a familiar name. And Rosemary Ivy, who I think of as uh, relating to Jasmine Ivy. So Mingles and Ivy would come from uh, resorting to danger. Um, what time is it? It's early, but I think Nancy's going to go take a nap and go to bed. Because there's stuff I want to do. <laughs> What's up, Rumi? I'll let you get back to your paper. Enjoy. Yeah. So. Clock. Yeah, let's go 1 a.m. 
and get woken up. Yes! What is that? Oh, and get a text at one in the morning. <laughs> little freak out. Okay, who texted me? Yeah, yeah whatever. Sorry, Paige. Risky what behavior. I need is an expert tree climber to show me the best way up this thing. Okay, how many tries will this take? Okay, bottom, split, to that big one, to that one, to that one. Split to that one, to that one, to that one, right? Okay, that only took one try. It gets harder. Okay, big one, split, to a bottom split, to a top one, to a tiny one, to that split, to that one, to Ziggy across from it, to near the top. Oh, I don't know what I said. No, a split to here, to here. And then I think the tiny one, and then to that one, to that one, the Ziggy, and to that one. Oh. Hot dang! As Fatima likes to say. Wonder, okay. There's a split behind. Small behind. Second from the top. Right down beneath it. Zigzag. Kind of curly up to the top. Oh shoot, what was the first one? Was it another split? It was a split and then like a behind one, wasn't it? This one. To behind, to behind. And then, oh man, oh man. Second from the top to this one and then to the zigzag and then kind of curly and then that one. And then that one. <gasps> yes! One try for each of them. That never happens. All right. Oh, yes. Spine. What is that sound? This is also very reminiscent of the Curse of Blackmore Manor. That comes up a few times in this game. <laughs> Look at that blue cloak. Different from all the others. Safely climb down and don't fall out of the tree. <laughs> and go to bed. Let's go with eight. Sure. Ah, day breaks. Oh, we didn't see it change tonight because I went to bed, I guess, way too early. <laughs> Time to get up already? Mm hmm. Nuts. There goes my phone. But it's important. This leads to more stuff. Wait a second. What's this? Looks like Danielle did get a second note from the black cat. And then I forgot to pick this up once and had to restart the whole game because I couldn't get back to this. Don't forget to pick up this piece. It's really, really important. We only got one shot at it. Um, oh, I see something under the door. I'm going to wait, though. That's good, though. I've never noticed it already there. I want to talk to my roomie first. About the note I just found. What's up, Rumi? Or not. I've bugged you enough. See ya. Hasta whatever. Yeah, I thought you could talk to her about that. Hey, guess who just got a note from the black cat? Congratulations. Just don't go all Danielle on me, okay? <laughs> Stay away from closets. Okay. <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> uh, okay. What are all the things I have to do? Uh, snack shop boss. And I can take pictures because it's snowing and they just look so much better when there's snow. Oh, right. And I have to look for the barrette. <laughs> Let's try that again. I need to click up, not back. Take a photograph. Camera. Yes. And this is one of the things I really like about this game is each day the weather changes. There are only three days, but it, it's progressively snowier. And I just think it's fantastic. 
Excellent. And then before I can do this, oops, I didn't mean to double click. I have to go look up some stuff and I have to look up this too. Okay, so I'll go to the library afterwards. I have to play a snack shop and talk with Leela. Let's do Leela first. Hey, what's going on? Do you think I could borrow the old menu that you borrowed from the display case in the foyer? Yeah. In fact, I got it right here. I needed it for this lame nutrition paper I had to write. I keep forgetting to put it back. But before I give it to you... Let me guess. I have to beat you at a game. <laughs> Air hockey or scram? You get to pick. Her and her games also reminiscent of Jane Pendle in front of Curse of Blackmore Manor. <laughs> Let's go with air hockey because it's faster. Air hockey. Yes. Purple. All right. Yes. Point. That was quick. They're not all going to be like that. Ooh, that wasn't bad, though. Hey, nice. Ooh, I'm doing really well. Come on. Oh, I'm not quite the right angle. Point. There we go. I only need two more. One more. Oh, dear. Ah. There we go. Nuts, you beat me. I did. There's the menu. Thank you. I did that really well. All need right. anything else? Uh, no, we don't need to talk to her about that. I'll check back with you later. Bye. All right, I have to talk to Mel about that. Let's okay, do this people, first. I'm ready to take your orders. Will I get the conversation I want? Tomatoes, tomatoes, cheese. I have got Pickle. such a crush on Mr. Harris. I can't stand it. Oh my goodness. You and every other girl at Waverly. <laughs> Not every girl. Oh. I'm sorry, you're right. Order's ready. Take calculus. <laughs> Wasn't Come get your order. Right, tomatoes. Cute, tomatoes. but he's not really what you'd call hot, you know? Well, if she doesn't want him, I'll take him. I think he's a doll. That sounds like uh, Samantha. Uh, sorry, I got distracted. Apple, chocolate bar, <laughs> granola. There. All done. Didn't get that conversation again. Um, They're still uh, gossiping about me. Just me. Okay. Let's go here. And I guess I'll check the website first. Why Waverly? No, wrong one. Okay, good. Good pictures. Um, oh. Probably should have plugged in my phone so I can download some more. Download that one and that one. I need two more. I can think of one of them off the top of my head. What is the other one? Not that. Oh, right. Um, the map the states. Now I want library catalog. Search the catalog. Okay, so Rachel has that one. I have to think about the other one. Mel has that one. Okay. I don't I could try looking up the ISBN. I don't I don't know if it's gonna work. Like I said, I feel like it has to do with, um, or it has to be done when I'm looking for something else in the library. Mm hmm. No, I don't remember. I don't remember how to get that Easter egg. Or do I have to look up reference books? I don't know. I think I need that ISBN, but. I'm going to try it anyways. Oh, oh my. 
Well, I didn't expect that. Okay, hang on. World Almanac Dictionary. Da, 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 da. Show. Ah, stage technician's guide. Royal Palladium Theater. Excellent. Um, we have entrepreneurship. No. Walls of Celebration. Da, da, da. Religious relics of Venice. No. German English Dictionary. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this rudimentary geology. Yeah, I think we've seen that. And yet, it's still not here. <laughs> now if I try it again? Probably just a waste of time. But I want it. I don't normally care about Easter eggs, but because I actually remembered about it when I played Was Running to Danger. Mm -hmm. I really like to be successful. So far, I'm not. Yeah, I want you, book. Alright. I need to talk with some people. Start with Rachel. I went the wrong way. I'm here. What? Listen, I know you checked out a book on Victorian dining, but I was wondering if I could borrow it. I'm kind of into Victorian stuff. Sorry, I need it for the paper I'm writing. But I'll tell you what, if you get my math notebook from Mel, I'll work on that project for a while and you can borrow the Victorian book. I know I Mel's like just down the <laughs> hall, but... I'd rather not have to deal with her, hmm. okay? Sure. One math notebook coming up. Great. Well, good luck with your papers. See ya. All right, I have to talk to Mel about a few things anyways. Uh, going the right way. I'm here. Greetings once again. <laughs> I found your barrette. Great. Hey, thanks. I don't know why I bother with these things. <laughs> They're always falling out of my hair. I know. This one fell out of your hair at that cloak and dagger meeting you were at last night. What meeting? I don't know what you're talking about. I was watching, Mel, from up in the oak tree. I saw you. <laughs> Great reaction. I'm not going to tell you anything, so whatever you think you saw, just forget it. I can't just forget what I saw, and you know it. Mel, look, whatever you tell me will go no further than this room, I promise. I'm not looking for something to gossip about. I just want to know what's going on mm -hmm. with you, that's all. Again, the animation is so great. What you saw was a meeting of the Blackwood Society. It's a secret club that someone at Waverly started a couple of years after the school was founded. Only seven girls a year get chosen to be members. And I wonder if the name Blackwood Society comes from the book, The Ghost of Blackwood Hall. That's where they took that name from. Who does the choosing? I have no idea. Everything's totally anonymous. Everyone wears a cloak, like you saw, mm -hmm. and no one ever talks. They just whisper, so you can't tell who anyone is. About once a month, I'll get a note or a text saying there's a meeting that night, and that's all we do. We just meet. There's no talking or socializing. We literally just stand around for about 20 minutes and chant. It's more like a tradition, one that keeps going even though everybody's forgotten how and why it started. Which is interesting. Who's the leader? I have no idea. Probably a senior, though. Look, to me, belonging to the Blackwood Society is cool. Not because it's secret and exclusive and all that, but because I like being part of something that someone a long time ago, for whatever reason, thought was important. Hmm. I like not knowing what the chant means, and I accept all the secrecy and anonymity, because by doing so, I get to be part of a tradition that's more than a century old. Yeah. I'm mm. sure some girls belong because they're too intimidated to quit, but I belong because the unknown is something I've always felt drawn to. Anyway, that's it. That's all you're going to get me to say on the matter. Do you think there's any connection between the Blackwood Society and all this black cat stuff? I meant what I said before. Blackwood Society? <laughs> Never heard of it. That book on music theory you checked out, could I take a look at it? No problem. As long as you go get me some milk and a cookie <laughs> from the snack shop. That sounds it's good. Not that I'm too lazy to do it myself, it's just that... You have a certain image to maintain. There is that wink. <laughs> and milk and cookies don't exactly enhance it. Understood. I'll be back. So good. Oh, hello. Oh, yes, I can't do that yet. I need a book first, which is what I'm trying to get. <laughs> uh...
Look at the conversation okay, I want. Okay, everybody. Snack shop's open. Hopefully I don't get a teacher order. Ah. A ah, teacher no. order. I've got to get this one done fast. If I'm fast enough, I can earn a credit. Too slow, and I'll get a demerit. No, 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 no. Okay, I do need a cookie. Start a cookie. Okay. Bagel. Cheese. Lettuce. Tomatoes. Cheese. Double. Lettuce. Cookie. Top of bagel. Chips. Apple. No! Milk! The Come get your order! Oh. I feel like I was really close. Okay, let's try this Attention, again. Attention, everyone! As of now, the snack shop is open. Pretzels. That's easy. Juice. Orange. No! Another no. teacher order. I was almost done the order. <laughs> Bread. Ah, oh, shoot. Uh, lettuce. Meat. Lettuce. Cheese. Meat. Cheese. Cheese. Bread. Juice. What else? No, there's a cookie! <laughs> and an orange. And some nuts. Waiting on the cookie. Food's ready! <sighs> okay, that's great and all. But it's too stressful. I'm trying to get Mel her food so I can move forward Step with my right mystery. <laughs> the snack shop is open. Toasted bagel. No! Another teacher order. Okay. Toasted bagel. I was just trying to do that. Cookie. I saw chips. Uh, orange. Juice. Okay, what do we need here? We need cheese. Meat. Meat. Ah, tomato. Tomato. Cheese. Order's ready! Okay, I'm taking this to mean I can't do this part yet. It wants me to do something else. I don't know why. Hmm. What can I do? I can't do this piano thing because I need that book. And... Oh, man. Is there anything else? I could go talk to people. <laughs> How about that? Hey, what's going on? No. I'll check back with you later. Hit them hard. Let's... Oh. Okay. Okay, Let's try people. This again. I'm ready to take your orders. Fred. I found out Mr. Oh, there we go. Is. Thank Green. goodness. A lot of good knowing that does us. Stupid uniforms. <laughs> At least I have green eyes. Not no, you don't. They're hazel. hazel. <laughs> Come get your Close order. to the conversation I wanted to hear. What else? He's going out with him? I mean, his B.O. is like a weapon of mass destruction. God, that's awful. Order's ready. Orange and milk. Toasted bread for the next one. Come oh, get your order. Still not hearing the conversation I want. Oops, try that again. Order up. Bagel with meat, cheese, meat. Top of the uh, top of bagel, please. Uh, chips, orange, chocolate bar, and some milk. Ah, my food's ready. My cursor keeps double clicking. It really can't happen when I'm doing a teacher order. <laughs> there, all done. I'm going to have to do Snack Shop Boss again later. Although I have to with another activity anyhow. But I still haven't heard the conversation I want to hear. <laughs> yeah? You've got my snack. Awesome. Indeed, I do. Here you go. Perfect, thanks. All yours. There we go. What else is going on? I need to get Rachel's math notebook from you. Sure. Soon as I remember where I put it. Nuts, I left it in the library. Okay. That's all right. I can go get it. Why do you want her math notebook? Well, because actually, reasons? Rachel, uh... She wants it, but she didn't want to ask me for it in person. Did you do something to make her mad at you? I don't treat her any differently than I treat practically everyone else around here. In other words, for the most part, I totally ignore her. <laughs> oh I don't know what her problem is. Maybe I'll pop in again later. Drop in any time. All right. 
Um, okay. Is it this book? No, it's the other one. Fine. Let's go down to the library. Something tells me I don't see Rachel's math book anywhere because it wound up in here. Okay. Before I do that... Try the search again. <laughs> Ah, I don't know how to do it. <laughs> I'll look it up later and probably realize I missed a really silly step. Calculus. Okay. Try it one more time. <laughs> Oh well. I don't know how to get it. I, uh, that's annoying. I was so excited because I remembered to get that ISBN. And it's not working. <laughs> oh, rats. Okay. I'm here! You've got my math notebook. Fab, I'll take that. Has math always been your favorite subject? Math? Science is more my thing. But before, you said math was. Well, actually, I like them both, so I kind of go back and forth. Anyway, the book's all yours. Go ahead and take it. And that's an example of some of that weird behavior people were talking about. I gotta get back to work here. I'll see you later. All right, now <laughs> can follow up on that text. So we need this. And we need to take the card and break into a student's dorm room. Feels like a pretty big space. It's, a, it's very light, especially in comparison with Mel's. <laughs> this is a book that's missing from the library. If I return it, I'll get credit points. All right. And <laughs> the ape did it. Because it's not obvious that it's from the story based on title. I've read... The, oh, there it is. The Cask of Amontillado. I don't know if I've read anything else of his, but I am intrigued by Poe, and I would really like to get a uh, like a Franklin or Easton Press edition of his works. Um, it's just a goal of mine, and, and then read through it. It's so weird to have a picture of yourself on your desk. Jacob. <laughs> but, um, uh, yeah, I, I would love to get a, a, a very nice collection of his work. And I did see a really nice one at the bookstore I used to work at, but it had like a stain or a scratch on it, so I didn't buy it. And I haven't seen any really beautiful editions since then, and I'm really bummed. This is the cloak the leader of the Blackwood Society was wearing. Which means it is Izzy Romero. Okay, let's get out of here before I get caught. Especially with Paige right next door. I don't want to get caught coming out of someone else's room. Um, oh, so many things. Let's start with piano. Okay, so to look at these. <laughs> e6, A5, B5, C5. These I actually have already written down, and I'm just confirming them. That's the G4 and C4, okay. And that is... I'll look in the book. Can't remember which is first. I think these ones are first, or low base. D2, A2, B2, D3, F3, A2, C2. Okay, this is why I needed the book. Uh, for example, coloratura sopranos range from C4 to F6, okay. So middle C, and the digits start at C. That's when it increases, is once you hit C. Okay. Let us try this. Okay, so that's middle C. Starting with D2. So that would be C2, C, D2, E, F, G. Oh, no, I said that was four. That's three. Hang on. I did that wrong. Let's try that all over again. That's two, C. 
D2, E, F, G, A2, B2, D3, F3, A2, C2. It sounds really flat. Um, like it's not the note I would expect. And then E6, 4, 5, 6, so E6, A5, B5, C5, E5, B4. Is that right? B4? Uh, yes. B4, C5. G4, C4. There we go. Excellent. And then... This one. Holy man. So, we need... To make note of the menu items, we've got... Oysters. Consomme. Terrapin. Beef. Sorbet. Chicken. Cheese. Vanilla ice cream. Sugared oranges. And coffee. And this I do have written down. And then I have <laughs> questionable sketches of what all the utensils look like. So I have to go through here and find uh, find the ones we need and then draw them down. So I don't need place. Uh, I wish I know a dessert knife. No. Steak knife. Yeah, so we need that one for beef. Game, that one we need for the bird. I think that's it for knives. So, beef is the one with a really straight line, and the chicken has this, to me, this really wonky curve. And then for spoons, we have a few of these. Um, iced tea, no. Dessert, no. Place, no. Soup and cream, maybe. <laughs> Consoms, yeah. So that's one, two, three, four, which is a super round spoon. And we need ice cream, which is beside it and has this weird sort of like shovel shape. And then we need orange, which is super pointy. Um, demi toss for coffee. Egg one too, right? Don't we? Sorbet, yeah, sorbet. So this sort of smaller one with a bit of a flat top, and then the coffee one is this tiny pointy one. For forks, we never need the place one. Fish, no. I hear you, cell phone. I'm just not ready. Pie. Fruit. No, cheese we do. That's one of two kinds and kind of looks funky. Um, dessert. Why do I think we need dessert? No. Seafood. For oyster, yes, for oyster, second from the end. So it's got three times. Terrapin. Yes. Short with four. Okay. Let's see how how this goes. So oysters. What did I just say about oysters? Oh, goodness. Is that three or four? <laughs> it's three, I think. It's this one. Consome. That's the really round spoon. Terrapin's four. It's that sh short one, right? And beef knife has the straight line on the side. Sorbet. The spoon was sort of a flatter top. This one. And it's not the smallest because that's for coffee. Um, chicken. Really curved side. Cheese has two tines and looks funky. Ice cream is the one that's sort of like a shovel. Oranges is rather pointy. And then coffee is the smallest. Oh no! I didn't do it right. Okay, it's... Oysters. It's probably that oyster fork. So look at that one again. Place, right? Fish. Oyster. Seafood. Second from the end. 
three times the second second shortest, right? I think so. Oh, let's give it a whirl again. Oh, I didn't mean to click on the spoon. Second shortest. Yeah, it should be this one. Console. Super round. Terrapin. Probably should have double checked this one. Um, beef, I know is that one without a doubt. Sorbet. So it's the flatter top. Oh, interesting. That's where I messed up before. Because I clicked this one. Oh, okay. Probably that one. Sorbet chicken. Cheese. Ice cream. I only clicked that one once this time. <laughs> Oranges. And then coffee. There we go. Yeah, I clicked that one twice. That's why. All right. Are those all the pieces? No. No, no, no. There's still one more. I'll get that one in a bit. Um, I don't think there's anything else I have to do right now. Just get that last, that last one. Yeah. What time is it? Izzy sounds a oh. tad upset. Right. I know all these. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Is he yucking it up with Corrine? This is an interesting turn of events. All right. Maybe I'll talk with people about all those What's pictures. What's up, Rumi? <laughs> Did you get the text message with a picture of you and Izzy attached? Oh my gosh, was that not too cool? <laughs> Me just sitting there chilling with my BFF, Izzy Romero. How awesome can you get? Any idea who sent it out? Nope. It wasn't me, if that's what you're really asking. Am I angry the whole school thinks we're suddenly best buds? Of course not. Sure, Izzy might feel a little annoyed by all this attention, but if she does, tough. Welcome to my world, Queenie. Yeah, you got a sense of how she feels. I'll let you get back to your paper. Hasta whatever. <laughs> okay, let's actually talk with uh, Izzy about all that. Hey, I'm a little busy right now, okay? Because of that picture of you and Corrine. <laughs> Doing damage control. There was no picture of me and Corrine. Somebody obviously used a computer and pasted a couple photos together. Any idea who this somebody might be? Either Mel or Leela. They both resent me. And they're both experts at doing underhanded things. Mel and her plagiarism. Leela throwing elbows whenever the ref's not looking. Heck, maybe it was both of them. Anyway, I gotta do some damage control, mm -hmm. so leave, damage okay? Control. <laughs> the sooner I figure out where the pictures used in that composite came from, the sooner I can salvage my reputation. I'll see ya. Alright then. I have to remember to play double take at some point, too. I haven't done that yet. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I know it's early, but Nancy's gonna go nap. <laughs> Yeah. Night falls. There we go. We didn't get that last time. Oh, I like this music. What am I doing? I have to think about it. <laughs> right. I need to get in here. Uh, I'll have to take an extra step forward. You okay? We need to click on or wedge tail, large bill, breast feathers, and primary feathers, and then crash. Boom! Oh no! What have I done? <laughs> You're now forcing me to figure out where all the states are. <laughs> I know some of them, just not many. Uh, I know California. There we go. Colorado is around here. Uh, Connecticut is somewhere over here. Delaware is in a weird spot over here. I know Florida. There we go. That's an easy one. 
uh, Idaho. You're like here. You have Montana's face poking into you. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Don't really know. Don't really know. Louisiana. I thought Louisiana went there. It kind of looks like it should, but it doesn't sit very well. Oh, I guess I can move them all. Yes, that is right. It just looks like it's sitting incorrectly. Uh, Maine is over here. Maryland is somewhere over here. Boston, Mass. Over here somewhere. There we go. Michigan goes around the Great Lake there. Minnesota, I think, goes up here, right? Yeah. Mississippi goes somewhere. Missouri goes somewhere. Montana, there you go. It's face looking into Idaho. Nebraska goes also somewhere. Nevada, there we go. You go here, I know that. New Hampshire, you're over here. Jersey is somewhere over here. New Mexico goes over here somewhere. Need other pieces first. New York is over here. And that should be Vermont, I believe. North Carolina. No, Dakotas are up here, right? Ohio is near um, Ontario, I know that. Uh, we'll get to that later. Oregon. You're uh, way up here. Yeah, easy one. Pennsylvania is somewhere over here, isn't it? I'll do that one later. Same with Rhode Island over there. Carolinas are somewhere. There's South Dakota. Uh, Texas, you're an easy one. You're also gigantic. Utah, you go here. Okay, there's Vermont. Uh, Virginia. How do you fit in here? Oh, West Virginia. There we go. Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Uh, Wyoming? Right around here, right? Yes. Okay. Start, actually... No, I have to go back up here. Okay, uh, Arizona. There we go. I have to place them in certain orders. <laughs> uh, Colorado, there you go. Um, and then just look for things that fit the shapes. <laughs> Okay, Delaware. I can try you. There we go. Connecticut's somewhere over here, right? Uh, not ready for a lot of these. I don't know where they go. Uh, Kansas. You're around here, aren't you? Apparently not. Okay, I'll get back to that one later. Maryland is there. Uh, Missouri, aren't you over here or something? Ooh, apparently not. Ah, Nebraska, you go here. Right? New, yeah. New Mexico, there we go. Jersey. Oklahoma. Over there. Okay, Kansas. There we go. Okay, what fits in there? That's not what I meant to do. Mississippi, please. Uh, Alabama, I think, goes down here. Arkansas. Again, all about the shape. <laughs> No, that doesn't. There we go. Iowa. Pennsylvania. Where, oh, where are you situated? Oh, right there. Duh. Illinois. I knew that one went somewhere around here. Indiana right beside it? Yep. Uh, Missouri. Kentucky. And the last couple. There we go. 
wonderful. This leads me to my last little piece, and then another puzzle will be coming up. That's here. Rachel. What's she up to? I should probably find out. Yes. Time to go follow her. But it's automatically done, which is kind of sad. Okay, I need to break into her room. Which would be weird if she was just sitting on her bed. But she's not. I like this puzzle. Sometimes I can do this in one try. Let's see if I can remember how to do that. Nope. <laughs> uh... Oh, I have to go down. Almost one try, because I figured it out pretty quickly that I messed up. <laughs> there we go. Oh my gosh, there's two of you? Yes. Plot twist. And it explains Please don't so tell. much. <laughs> you mean you both go to school here, but everyone thinks just one of you does? I including the administration? But we're mm -hmm. not hurting anyone. I mean, it's not like anyone else was going to use this room or eat these leftovers. How would they find the We've room? We've been doing this for years, Becca. If we were doing any harm, we would have been found out by now. Our mother's dead, and our father was clueless when it came to raising two girls by himself. We were afraid that unless we somehow went off to boarding school, we'd wind up in foster homes. So we applied for scholarships all over the place, but this was the only one we got. So we decided to share it. And we've only got one more semester. Just one. We're so close. Please don't tell, Becca. Please. Wow. This is amazing. I react. Okay, yep. <laughs> I won't tell. And don't worry. I'm pretty good with secrets. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. I just can't believe I'm the only one who knows. Well, Actually, <laughs> you're not. Kim! Someone else found out and blackmailed us into leaving those black cat notes for other people. You two are the black cat? No, we just make the notes and Her deliver reactions. them to whomever the real black cat tells us to. What are you doing? If she tells they're going to kick us out anyway, Rachel, she may as well know everything. Maybe she'll even help us. So you're Rachel and you're Kim? Right. How does this blackmailer black cat person communicate with you? Email. Each time it's from a different address. We have no idea who's sending them. Well, I guess I could kind of, you know, play detective mm -hmm. and try to find out who it is. That would be so cool. Then we'd know something that person doesn't want anyone to find out. A stalemate. Yes! <laughs> In the meantime, my sister needs to finish her dinner and you should go. Nobody cares if one of us isn't around, but if the new girl suddenly disappears... I understand. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I mean, I'll see one of you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Night! Yeah, I didn't see that coming the well, first time I played this game. <laughs> but it's a nice twist. It's exciting. All right, this is the third day, and I'm pretty much at the end here. I could talk to Karine. What's up, Rumi? Or not. <laughs> I'll let you get back to your paper. Suit yourself. Oh, I have to return that book. Um, try talking to the sisters. Although I don't know if they'll let me talk to them. What? Not now, okay? Yeah, okay. <gasps> I forgot to take a picture. No. Oh no. Can I do it? Or will I get in trouble? Oh, yeah, I totally forgot to do this before. Oops. Uh menu, camera, take photo. Good gravy. I usually forget to take the thing from there. And the snow is really falling down. Who sent me a text? Oh, wonderful. Time to upload this photo. And then I think I'll they'll talk to me. Uh why wait really? Download. Does he have anything to say? How's it going? Oh, yes! That's right. Seeing as you're the leader of the Blackwood Society, I need you to tell me something. All right. Who <laughs> blabbed? I... 
Look, that's not important. I just need to hear that chant you guys repeat, word for word. The reason why is very complicated, but I promise you, whatever you tell me, I won't repeat it to anyone, ever. What's in it for me? If you don't tell me what I want to know, I'll tell everyone about the society. You want Maybe me to I don't deal care. with her? <laughs> I'll owe you one. How's that? I'll say it once, and that's all. Three is fine, but five is more. Even nineteen defeats four. Should just seven become lore, at least two will find the door. You owe me big. What does the chant mean? The solid question. I have question. no idea. It's been <laughs> passed down verbatim since the school and the society was founded. That's absolutely all I know about it. Everything is secret. Like that cloak? I got a text telling me to go to a certain spot. And when I did, there was the blue cloak. Along with a note saying I was to choose seven new members and in the spring, a new leader. Everyone takes a vow of secrecy. Everyone thinks if they break it, they'll be cursed or something. You believe that? No harm in hedging your bets. Mm -hmm. And since you're in on the secret now too, you should probably do the same. Well, now that that conversation's over, forever. <laughs> what else is going on? I've harassed you enough. No problem. Okay. I am going to put the book back before I forget. Get me some extra credits. And then I'll do double take later. But time to snoop outside and make tracks. I love it. <laughs> This part always makes me feel a little dizzy, and then trying to find that place, which is tricky. Alright, we've got a bat now. <laughs> no cat, we've got a bat. Okay, now we have to put these in order. So, is the ape the first one? I think it is. The ape goes in the sixth spot, so. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then. That's three are in a row, so 13 is the bug. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. The 14th spot is the cats. And the ravens after that. There we go. So exciting. This must be the photo of Rita Hollowell and her cat that Rachel was hoping I'd find. I need to take a picture of this so I can upload it to the website along with the other icon photos. Rachel is going to be thrilled. Indeed. All right. I just find it kind of awkward to try and leave this cellar. Okay, I feel like I'm kind of in the home stretch. Pretty close. Still a little bit to do, but not much. All right. I always try and look at it when it's plugged in. <laughs> Can't do that. <laughs> Download. There we go. Yes, there we go. There are my five credits I was waiting for. I'll go talk to a twin. Hey, you finished the icon pictures. You even found that picture of Hollowell and her cat. Yes, Great I job. did. There's just one more thing I need you to do, and then you'll be done with me. Us. What is it? One of my web pages has to include the essay Kareen wrote that won the English department's coveted pen to paper award. So get a copy of it from her and upload it to the site, and that'll be that. Any idea who the real black cat is yet? No, but don't worry, I'm working on it. My sister says I shouldn't get my hopes up, but I can't help it. See, she seems like Kim to me. But I'm pretty sure if I pick that, it's wrong. I think she's actually supposed to be Rachel. I don't know, so I'm just not even going to do that one. Would you happen to know anything about the official blueprints of the school that are missing from the library? They're missing? So you've seen them? That's how I knew this room connected to the attic. Right, but there we go. I don't have them and I have no idea who does. That test you flunked, what happened? C 
See, my sister attends some classes and I attend others. AP Chemistry was one of hers. So one oh, day she okay. got sick and to avoid her getting an absence demerit, I went in her place. And naturally, that was the day the teacher decided to surprise the class with a test. So that makes it Needless seem like this say, is Rachel. I failed miserably. Cuz Rachel I think actually likes math. But the hair thing, I thought Kim pulled it behind her ear. That's what we see her do in the not that attic, but that other room and and Kim always seemed more hopeful. So I, I don't know. I'm not doing this. I hate that question. <laughs> Guess I'd better get to work. See ya. All right. Oh, Corrine. Oh, hello, text. Uh -oh. Aha. Now what's happened? I'll get there. And then I'll what's play up, double Rumi? take. <laughs> For the web page I'm helping Rachel put up, I need to get the essay you wrote that won the pen to paper award. Oh, yeah, Rachel mentioned that. I didn't think my paper was that great, but for some reason, the entire faculty went totally gaga over it. I'll copy it onto a flash drive for you. But while I do that, would you do me a favor? Oh, but of course. Sure, I guess. <laughs> I'm absolutely starving. And since you're snack shop boss, mm -hmm. how about getting me a toasted bagel with cheese, an apple, some juice, and a candy bar, okay? Soon as you do, I'll give you the essay. You got it. Excellent. And then that gives me a chance. Oh. Guess who just got a second note from the black cat? Ooh, you're in for it. Okay, that gives me a chance to try and overhear that conversation. But I'm actually going to talk to whichever sister that is about that note. What? I need you to upload oh. that essay, okay? Maybe I won't. <laughs> Fine, I will do some stuff down here. Attention, everyone. As of now, the snack shop is open. Don't be a teacher order. Don't be a teacher order. Okay, I'm in the clear. Okay, where's the conversation? Asking Ben Sturgis to the winter ball. Order's ready. Can't. He's dating Heather. No, I heard she's gonna break up with him. After the ball, apparently he's an awesome dancer. That wasn't the conversation. Order's ready. Yes. Why can't our uniforms be teal, black and white? Yes, that's the one. That's the conversation I've been waiting for. That is a callback to the message board and the members because when the message board used to be teal Order and then up. they got changed to whatever color you want to call it, the pink shade, there were a lot of disgruntled people and there was a lot of talk about it. So that just goes to show that her interactive was paying attention and they were listening and that that was a tidbit for us. <laughs> So it's just brilliant. I love Order's that they, ready. they thought to do that. <laughs> yeah. Talking about uniforms being a different color. All about the message board there. reality. All done. <laughs> All right. Before I take that up, cheese bagel's going to get cold. Actually, no. Eh. Close. Because I have to come back here anyways. <laughs> You've got my snack. Yes, I do. Yep. Enjoy. Thank, Thank you. you. Mm, that is so good. Here, keep it as long as you want. The essay is the only thing on there. Great. Thanks. Rappy drive. All Anything right. else? I'd better get going. Bye. Hasta whatever. Ooh, you can hear that wind blowing. Doesn't sound very nice out there. All right. Before I upload that essay, let's talk with That favor Izzy. you owe me? You can return it right now by finding out what happened to my term paper. It's not on my computer anymore. Oh, man. Do you have a hard copy? No! It would have been like printing out a book. Four weeks of research and writing are just gone. I'm going to have to start all over and turn it in late, which means no A for the course and no... Somebody deliberately did this to me, and I want to know who, so you find out. Until you do, just leave me alone! And this is why you back up your projects and papers, people. I mean, not because you assume someone's going to get rid of it, but things fail. So either print a hard copy or back it up on, like, on a USB drive, like the one that's right here in my inventory. I mean, that's the safe, smart thing to do. You take those measures put it on a usb drive could 
put or put it on a um, oh I can't think what it's called but other like memory storage units just anything keep copies so that you don't lose all your work oh that's a tough lesson to learn like that's particularly bad for for Izzy there okay okay I will upload that but first double take because I want the top score <laughs> All right, dragonfly, squirrel, snake, penguin, uh, squirrel, that was a shark, sheep, giraffe, cow, zebra, sheep, kiwi, kangaroo, oh, that's kiwi, that's what I call it, elephant, rabbit, oh, there's a rabbit again, oinker, elephant, no. Nope. Camel, frog, kiwi, zebra, octopus, bat, oh, giraffe, you're up here, oh, good, raccoon thing, a lion, oh, not a lion, kangaroo, I feel like I saw that and I don't remember where, that's fine, dragonfly, cow, octopus, raccoon thing, where were you, butterfly, Monkey. I don't remember if I saw the monkey yet. No. <laughs> Lots of these are back to back. Dog and spider. What was up here? Oh, there was a kangaroo. Okay. Um, frog. Ostrich. I don't think I've seen that yet. Oh, there's a dog. Shoot. Where did I see the dog? Uh, that's not what I meant to click this one. Dog. Okay, wanker. I know I just clicked it and I don't remember where it is already. <laughs> Penguin was that one? S nope, spider was this one. That was the bat I clicked there. Okay. Uh, camel, butterfly, shark, snake, ostrich, and bat. There we go. I beat the top score. Take that, Izzy. And I always have to remind myself to go slower because it's really easy to beat the top score. <laughs> And, uh, right. Oh, uh, academics. Download. So I'm not going to read this. Natsy's going to comment on page two, though. Whoa. When it comes to Mr. Poe and maybe Miss, or should I say Nurse Hollowell, looks like Corrine's a bit of an expert. So this is the thing where I thought, like, there isn't really a, a mention of Hollowell in here, but a nurse. So you have to have read that book by Moore. Um... To make the connection. But anyways. Okay, now we're really approaching the home stretch. This basically is the home stretch. Corrine, you here? Guess not. Mm -mm -mm. That's okay. Um Izzy, her password, Queen B10. Steps to formatting. Oh, hello. Yes. Alright. And I could talk to one of the twins, but no, I'm in the home stretch now. I don't want to. <laughs> oh, now what? Thanks. These are not just my steps here. The lights really should be on already. What is that noise? Sounds like it's coming from the other mm -hmm. side of the wall. That's interesting. The old set of blueprints shows a tiny room behind the furnace which isn't on the modern blueprints. And Good the bang. modern blueprint includes a drawing of the furnace and a bunch of numbered valves. Dupin? Mm -hmm. I've seen that name before in Hollowell's journal. Yes, okay, so for the chance. We need three. Okay, it's the middle arm. Here, it's, to me this is like an elbow. So five, so we're going inside. Three, five, and then nineteen, going to the next elbow across the way to a four. So going to the outside, not the inside. And then seven on the inside, and then two. So three, five, nine, four, seven, two. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh uh-huh. That's the outside, the inside, that's the other one. Now we're at the end. Oh, and that's intense. We have to move. Kareem? Yes! What are you doing here? Apparently, the same thing you are. Looking for the treasure Rita Hollowell hid. Is that it? This is animated what is so it? well. An old manuscript? 
by Edgar Allan Poe, never published. He told her where it was when he was on his deathbed. When he died, she took it and ran off so Rufus Griswold wouldn't end up with it. At least I think that's what happened. You found all that out while you were researching that paper? When I do research, I do research. Although truth be told, all I knew with relative certainty is that she'd hidden something in this building. I wasn't sure where. Which is why you became the Black Cat. I'm not the Black Cat. I didn't leave those notes. No, you blackmailed someone else into doing that for you. Two someones, actually. You're pretty smart. The question is, are you smart enough to live to tell the tale? I don't think so. Oh, it's just so well done. I love it. And then this is in reference to, I don't know if it's a short story or poem, but I think it's a short story of Poe's. Okay, let's not get your head cut off. So, uh, I don't remember which one's first. Uh, I don't know if it's that one. I don't think it is. Ooh, but that one's definitely second, so. We'll try a different one first. Oh, yeah, I think that one's first. That one's second. Is this one third? Oh, yeah, I think so. Oh, good. That didn't take many tries at all. Usually it takes a couple. Alright, and I love this part. I love the ending. This cutscene. It's just great. I love this No, game. forget <laughs> it. You're not going anywhere till you tell me what the heck is going on. Come on, Mel. It's too long a story. I need to go. You just entered my room through the wall. I want an explanation. <laughs> I'll explain later. Now let me past. Stay right <gasps> there, Mel. You too? What is this? <laughs> so good. Well, for Corrine, it's over. Oh man, I love that ending scene. Because of all the meticulous research she'd done, Corrine knew Rita Hollowell had hidden something written by Poe somewhere in Ramsey Hall. But without the clues that my investigation eventually uncovered, her only hope of finding it was by searching the entire building. And she couldn't do that unless most, if not all, of its occupants spent midterm break elsewhere leaving their rooms unoccupied. So she resurrected an old Waverly legend and attempted to frighten her classmates away with notes from the black cat, followed by well-timed accidents. And having stumbled upon Rachel and Kim's secret months before, she blackmailed them into writing and delivering the notes for her so that if anything went wrong, they would take the blame. But thanks to me and to Mel, who wouldn't even let me out of her room until I told her everything, <laughs> Corrine got the blame and was promptly expelled, which is kind of too bad. She would no doubt have graduated at the top of her class if her greed, guile, and subconscious desire to retaliate against her classmates hadn't gotten the best of I don't know if that was subconscious. But some good did result from all this. For one thing, Megan's parents dropped their threatened lawsuit and allowed her to return to school. Fully recovered from her allergic reaction, she threw herself into her studies with a vengeance. Now, with Corrine out of the picture, the valedictorian contest has turned into an academic knockdown dragout between Izzy, Leela, Mel, and Megan. Izzy which is does a good not thing. look pleased. <laughs> not pretty, but good. Anyway, as for Rachel and Kim, Kareen made sure they got expelled too. But when some of Waverly's more influential alumni heard what had happened, they insisted the twins be unexpelled and even paid their tuition and board for the rest of the year. They contended that the audacious fraud Rachel and Kim had perpetrated stemmed from their determination to get a good education, and hence should be rewarded, not punished. And you know, I have the feeling Rita Hollowell, and maybe even her idol Mr. Poe, who was pretty darn good at making fiction seem like fact himself, would have very much agreed. All right. Uh, Dignitas in Omnes, I'm pretty sure. I glanced at that. Yes! Um... I don't really get a lot of these things, and that's fine. Didn't get my Easter egg. <laughs> oh, I tried. All right, trailer time. I don't know about you, but tornadoes have always fascinated me. Not so me. So when I'm told a team of tornado chasers down in Oklahoma is having strange, sometimes life-threatening problems with its equipment, and I'm asked to join the team so I can try to figure out why, I immediately say yes. But once I arrive in Tornado Alley, I quickly discover that a line of storms severe enough to spawn a record-breaking string of twisters is not my biggest problem. 
I must also survive the diabolical actions of a teammate bent on sabotage. Join me as I learn firsthand which is more dangerous, Mother Nature or Human Nature, in my next adventure, Trail of the Twister. Well, there we go. That is warnings that we have really Academy and we're going to get pictures of just the pictures I took. Um, yes, what a great game. All that animation. I mean, that's the big thing that I keep pointing out is the reactions we get from the characters responding to the things Nancy says. It's just superb. This game is just stellar for that. With that said, some of the animation does look kind of weird, particularly with Mel and Leela's eyes. They just seem really, I don't know why, like it, it's, it's not the best for them, I find. Um, yeah, just great otherwise. The team really took time to create these reactions, which to me really makes the game fantastic. Speaking of fantastic, the soundtrack is also superb. I love it. Um, really great music, really helps set the scene really well. I love that the weather changes. I love all the snow. That just makes me so happy. Um, yeah, some great puzzles. Uh, really interesting storyline. I love all the stuff about Poe. I really like it when her interactive takes real life figures and puts them into the games, like in Treasure in the Royal Tower, where we learn a little bit about Marie Antoinette and the uh, Reign of Terror and all that. I to me, that's, it's just really interesting, and I've said it many times, and I'll continue to say it. These games are great educational um, tools, I guess. Um, great opportunities to, to teach, and I think that's, that's great. Um, we're going to get a set of bloopers here, so I will hush. The Waverly Academy <laughs> Pounders. Ooh, what a stuffy group. What fun they were having. Hey! The black cat strikes again. We all tried, but none of us were ever able to snatch the pebble from her hand. Now, should I put this in the oops pile or the I'm so very sorry pile? <laughs> ah, the elusive eyes closed blurry snapshot. <laughs> Many photographers spend years perfecting this technique, but to some of us, it just comes naturally. <laughs> the setting on my flash oh. might be just a little too strong. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Hmm, I must have been going through an abstract phase at the time. Play us off, graduation cat. I like this. All right, so it doesn't go back to uh, credits. Hi, I'm Nancy Drew. The headmistress at the Waverly Academy for Girls has asked me, begged me actually, to discover who's been leaving mysterious notes for students there. Okay, good. I was able to cut her off pretty quickly. So, yeah. So, overall, just a great game. Um, so I talked about music. Uh, characters. I really like the diversity of the characters just as far as their interests. They all, though, like I noted pretty early on, are kind of snooty about each other. I, I can't stand that disrespect. Because that leads to low self-esteem and anxiety and you have kids who are really struggling in school and don't know how to be social and social media doesn't help with that. So I could kind of rant on and on about that. But I did really want to point that out and stress how, um, how detrimental that behavior can be. So please don't bully others, guys. Just, it's that simple. Um, uh, going back to the Easter egg that I tried really hard and oh, I'm going to have to look up how to do it, how to get it. And I'm really disappointed that I wasn't able to achieve it. Man, that's frustrating. Um, what else? There's something else I was going to say. The, the, Not the bloopers, but yeah, kind of the bloopers reminded me of it. Mm, it's gone. Whatever. It's fine. Um, <laughs> maybe it was about the Easter egg. No, no, it was about... Ah, oh, shoot. It was there for a second and then it ran away. Um, yeah, I talked about animation. Um... Oh, I know what it was. It was that conversation that you overhear eventually uh, when you're playing Snack Shop Boss. Again, it was with her interactive reacting to its members not being thrilled about the message board color change. Because for years it was teal and then they went to that sort of burgundy, purpley pink color and it was a massive change and really unexpected. And there was a lot of feedback about it. And her interactive incorporating a conversation about uniforms and how they 
wish they were teal instead of burgundy or maroon was just pure genius. I love it. So that was fantastic. So again, that was a callback to us, the fans. I thought that was wonderful. Yeah, this game has a lot of great things to it. I really like the activities we have to do too. And just all the snooping and moving around is just great. And, and those cutscenes, um, the animation for it, but also just having at the very beginning, the introduction of seeing Danielle reacting to that note and then being locked in the closet that really set the scene for us. And then at the end in Mel's room and her reaction, you too, what is this is just fantastic and makes me laugh. It's just so good. It's on the same level of Joe and his cheeseburger comment for me. It's, it's just great. Yeah. I really enjoy this game. It's one I can play over and over. I think her directive did just a spectacular job of it. Um, yeah, it's one of my favorites. So with that, I'm going to call this the end of the playthrough video and probably fairly soon we'll see the book to game comparison for The Curse of the Black Cat and Winnings at Waverly Academy. And uh, I look forward to putting that out there in the world and hopefully you guys enjoy that and hopefully you enjoyed this video too. Have a wonderful day everyone. Bye-bye.